Hello, everybody! <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I am Bogus Meat Factory. Hi, folks. How are you doing today? I hope you're all doing well. Tonight, we are going to be journeying further deep into the Underdark and our wonderful game of Baldur's Gate 3. Um, it's good. It's a good week, man. How about everybody's had a good like weekend? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Um, yeah, it's a good weekend. My kids went fishing this week. It's a really good time. And uh, we went and saw my wife's uh, grandmother who was just all in her lonesome. We've been taking care of her and keeping her company. It was a really good time. Um, tonight we're going to be doing more Baldur's Gate. We're in the Underdark. I'm, dude, I am... I'm shocked at the longevity of this game. We've been playing for a lot of hours, and I haven't felt the... I haven't felt the pull of, like, hey, you should stop playing this game. Like, hey, you should wrap this up. You should move on. And that's a really powerful thing for a game where usually when I hit that like kind of 40-hour mark, I'm pretty much done with a game, and I'm eagerly anticipating its closure. And I haven't really felt this way with Baldur's Gate 3, and I think part of it is why is because I am thoroughly enjoying its combat encounters and the decisions that I'm making and kind of the mystery of the story. There's a whole lot of reasons that kind of encapsulate exactly what makes this game so compelling and so engaging and it's just an absolute delight i'm enjoying the characters i'm enjoying all the little micro stories and like self-encapsulated situations that are all kind of like unrelated to the story at large although i'm kind of curious to see how they would tie to the bigger picture because i feel like there's some instances where we'll see things kind of come back around and and hit us but we'll see but let's get into the game let's see do, 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 do. that's the one there we are. All right. Boom, 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 boom. When we last left off, Philby and team crew, we had um, we had gone down to the Underdark. We had helped a group of mushrooms uh, get revenge on some like dark dwarves, right? And there was a mushroom dude who was like, "Help me turn," you know, on the. Uh, on the, that clan of mushrooms so that I can start my own clan and it'll be glorious. And it's like, uh, no. <laughs> and so we had to fight him. Uh, we found a lost husband who was stuck in a very dangerous mushroom situation. And uh, there was a whole bunch of stuff, man. It's been very enjoyable. It's been very silly. And I've just been loving the game. And right now, what are we doing now? Um, we are currently... What are we doing right now? I think we're about to head back. We had just finished saving that dude. And uh, kind of, uh, I think we're going to head back and, right? What are we doing right now? It's a good question. We're not heading back yet. We have to find a particular alchemist that's on their own and have them help us with stuff. Now it says, did you grab the noble stock by where the lost husband was? The noble stock. I think so. Yes. I mean, I don't, I actually, I don't know. I might have. I got the, the susser bark from the big tree. Um, let's, let's search. Hold on. Noble stock. I did not. And this is in my, hold on. Is it pop up in my alchemy stuff? Let's see. No, we have hooks and stuff. Where's that at? Night Raider Hop, by the way. Hello. How are you today? Um, where's that located? Gods are watching me. We may have blown everything up though, which might have been a problem. It would not be in the alchemy stuff. We may have blown everything up, though. Which probably could have affected our ability to get it. Chasm Creeper. Yeah, if you blow up this stuff, then it's gone. Oh, no! What was it? Uh, what was it for? What was the Noble Sock for? If you can enlighten me so. I feel like I may have made a mistake in blowing everything up, but you know. Not a really big deal, I gives you an extra scene depending on who you give it to. Oh, okay. Eh, then I'm not worried about it. Um, Alright, so we want to head... Southwest. There's the Adamantine Forge. Um, Arcane Tower. Yeah, the Arcane Tower. Um, let's see. Adamantine Forge, True Soul Near, Deep Gnome Prisoners, that's right, we had to do some stuff there. 
And I'm looking for the alchemist woman. I haven't found her yet, but we'll we'll keep exploring. We'll find her naturally, I think. We're going to probably head down to the adamantine forge thing then and deal with that. Turn this stuff for instance, if you give in to Shadowheart, it unlocks one of her lost memories. Oh, okay. No, I haven't. Uh, I haven't done anything with it. Nope. How's it going, by the way, Night Rider? It's so good to see you. Have you beaten it yet? Out of curiosity, I'm still, still, uh, just chopping away at, at um, Act One. Oh, there's the thing. There's that stupid, stupid thing. Um. I don't want to fight it. I don't want to. A little further than me. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm sure. I am. I take things at such a snail's pace that like anybody could get farther than me right now. Maybe we can go this way and around. That's right. We saw that dude stuff. And we can climb down from here. Interesting. Yeah, we're taking it slow. We're taking it at a snail's pace. But we're also just, you know, enjoying that moment. The rock under your feet juts upwards, forming a perfectly engraved tombstone with a small epitaph. In memory of Myrna, a shining light in this dark world, may you forever gaze upon the lake you love to play in. Dig up the grave? Oh, oh god, why would I dig up the grave? No in memory of me or no. Let's do it. Philby's gonna dig it up. As you dig, you slowly expose the skeletal remains of a large dog wearing a chunky leather collar. Strange collar. It's got runes all over it. Definitely magic. I wonder too. Missed that grave. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Everybody's like, oh, yeah, like, I never saw any of this, and it's so wild, right? How easy it is to miss that stuff. Push on visibility, I'll take it. I get to, yeah. Let's look at this collar. Dog collar. Yep, for a large dog, the name Mirna is engraved on the tag, surrounded by a plethora of indecipherable runes. Can I wear it? I can. Oh god. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if I should wear the dog collar. That's the interesting thing about this game. I started multiple times and each time I found new things. Absolutely. One of the beauties of the game, right? And even then, if you saw everything, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> if you saw everything, that doesn't mean that you've experienced everything. Like, you may have saw all the different scenarios, but not how they all play out. And not with, you know, your reactions, your appropriate reactions to them. And so that adds to that replayability a millionfold. And that also really harkens to the strengths of the game and how they're able to kind of tie everything back together into one particular narrative. Oh, shit. Run back, guys. Did he jump out? I feel like he did, but where did he go? Okay. We almost killed him, too. I felt so, like, so... Oh, we were so close. We were so close to killing that thing. Um, okay. So the beach. And then down to the forge. Okay, so we can go... The dead burger. I think we already... Yeah, we already searched these guys. So we can go down here. I think it's going to lead us to the, where we need to go. Uh, I just hit level 5, I think. Yeah. What the heck was that? Why are things exploding down here? Summer! Hey, welcome! I'm enjoying Baldur's Gate 3 dramatically. How are you today, Summer? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. It's such a pleasure to have you. Have you played any of this yet? It is, without question... One of the most fascinating design games. Because it isn't... I've been... I have been not great. All for too long. I am so sorry to hear, Summer. Fingers crossed that things get better. 
Hopefully we can up in the not too distant future. Yeah, that, I, I am with you. Let me tell you that the start of this year had been absolutely debilitating almost. And I'm very glad to know that it, there were some brighter sides for me personally. It's the start of the school year for my kids. Um, and things are starting to look up. I hope, fingers crossed, knock on wood, all of those things that people do. Um, and I hope for the same for you too. I have not played Baldur's Gate 3 myself yet, but I've been watching people play it. Good times. Indeed, I am shocked as to how how good this game is. I mean, I played some of Divinity Original Sin. I, I enjoy their games and their design philosophy. But I didn't expect it to be as engaging as it was, you know? A ledger detailing the appearance and quality of numerous gemstones that have been mined from rock. Weight, color, clarity, and more are noted next to a sketch of each stone. An underlined entry for a sizable ruby is written in shaky, excited quill strokes. This should be. I think that you're you're correct. There's some other stuff to come out, but I don't know if it's gonna to to equal it. You know, I really don't. It's the best computer RPG, D&D-based game in a long time. Yeah, absolutely. That, definitely with you on this. Definitely with you on this. The poor executed gnome. All right, so we gotta take the boats. A vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. Has there been anything you've been playing somewhere that you've enjoyed? Or anything that you have watched also that you've enjoyed lately? It's been such a great year for games. With Street Fighter VI, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, um, what, uh, Final Fantasy XVI, uh, uh, Starfield, Baldur's Gate. There's just a whole lot of fantastic, highly reviewed and highly beloved games out there. Seven Castle Force, how's it going? What does Goaty really mean? It's the best game of the year or the game that pushes the medium forward? So, I mean, Night, yeah, Cyberpunk DLC coming up. I've not played many of the, any of the mentioned games. So, like, I would think that for me, Seven, uh, oh, look at that, hold on, ooh. I'm the captain now. That's what it is. I'm gonna talk my way through this. We got this. Correct, Summer. Well, um, also the the other one too. There's another one too, but whatever people decide, it means generally the best game of the year. Yeah, for me, it's pushes seven. You know me. It's it's pushes the the genre forward. That's always the case for me. And if there's nothing that really pushes the genre forward, the one that seems to like be, you know the most engaging, but usually there's something that pushes the genre forward. And I feel like typically a lot of the ones that hit those game of the year lists usually are ones that do so. Um, and I mean, there's two contender, three, con three contenders for me, right? There's, and I wouldn't be mad if any of these won, right? You have Baldur's Gate 3 for a whole lot of reasons for its really complex narrative structure and its ability to interweave stories and and still bring them all together and it's really taking that dungeons and dragons concept and its mechanics and applying them in a computer game way that is really fun and entertaining to do and it's easy to wrap your brain around which is hard for a lot of folks and why they don't play tabletop dungeons and dragons in the first place they make it incredibly accessible and digestible for people the other one would be street fighter 6 what it does for fighting games in general is pushing that genre forward in a big way by offering tools, these general set of tools that players can tap into and a variety of them that all work together and creates a more um, independent fighting game. What I mean by independent fighting game is it's a fighting game that uh, means that you're reading the player far more than you are about reading the character. Um, and it's why a lot of like Street Fighter veterans say this game is hard. Because Street Fighter in the past has always been about reading the character. Reading the character that you're playing and knowing all that information. And now there's such a broad set of tools that players can tap into all universally from the get-go. That really makes it more of a guessing game. More of a game of trying to understand players' habits and, and traits. This is something that Virtual Fighter does a lot. This is what Street Fighter 3 does a bunch of. And that's what makes it so special and interesting. 
Plus, it's really great single player kind of campaign and how it presents itself in that way really makes it push that genre forward in a big way that its competitors, like Mortal Kombat, try to do, but get hung up on little things. Weird little things. And I feel like Street Fighter VI has kind of eschewed most of those stuff and has, you know, came away pretty clean. And then the other one, is, of course, is Tears of the Kingdom. Um, the Zelda game takes the, the open world adventure, you know, game and... Um, action adventure game and turns it on the side the building mechanics really fun and engaging it's an enormous world and the fact that the game is only 18 gigabytes in size is mind-boggling to me um and seven says but it seems rare for people to champion like a small indie game as game of the year they tend to be bigger budget 3d games mostly this is true discoverability is really hard for indie games right and that's an important thing to recognize that like for me, was it last year? My goatee was, um, was, uh, Norco. Just because of its narrative. Its narrative was so intense and so real. And it really kind of tapped into a very personal story, a very thing that was very incredibly knowledgeable and personal to the writer and creator of that game. And that was my, my one for, for last year, for sure. Uh, Summer says, there's been indie games that have been considered goatee by many, but... Well, most people know slash play. Whoa, hold on. Whoa, let me go back and chat here. No slash play AAA games far more than indie games. Indie games are generally far more niche by default. So, of course, AAA games will receive more attention. Oh my gosh, I am pushing buttons. What am I doing? Um, wow. You consider more for Goatee. Yeah. Even though if there could be indie games that are far more deserving in many ways. Anyway, everyone has a different opinion of goatee. It's true. What it means, what could qualify. Exactly. Just like what people consider retro, you know? Everyone has it. It's very subjective. And I think generally bigger budget 3D games are often considered more quickly for goatee by the mainstream because they're bigger and better looking. I still have yet to play Norco, but it seems so great. Oh, it is so fantastic. It's really good. It's it's a dark game, but it's really good. Seven Guys of Force says, Agreed, Summer. I guess that seems weird to me when people speak of goatee as some kind of definitive or collectively agreed upon thing. Yeah, I mean, Seven Guests of Horus, you know how I talk about the subjectivity of games and review, right? And how everything is based on our own personal criteria of what is a good game to us, right? And how people always like to talk about, like, oh, um, it's a, it's an objectively good game. It's like, no, it's a consens consensually good game. It's one that the consensus all agrees upon is good. But that doesn't make it a good game to the individual. And that's the same thing with a goatee, right? Goatee is just kind of a, typically a goatee by, like... Jeff Keighley's like Game Awards and that sort of stuff, that's the consensus talking. And that doesn't make it bad. It doesn't make it also less valid. But that's just typically what big group of people have done. So this, except for oxygen, water, and the consensus that we need to eat food to survive. Exactly. And that we also can't really get by without sleep. That's just humanity. Exactly. Um, Seven Against the Wars is right. I think everyone in here is in agreement that there can be no objective goatee, but sometimes people act like that, and I find it just bizarre. Well, I was talking about it the other day. I was, I was kind of ranting and raving about it in my Discord. was just, like, there was a situation where um, I was in a gaming community talking about the Kinect, because um, I fired up Connectables with my kids. And um, I have a big fascination with novelty in hardware. And... Um, and I was just talking about the Kinect and how just interesting it is. And there's a lot of games that don't quite reach that mark of, like, good. But there's something really, like, there's something there that you can pick from. That you can kind of glean some information from and gain some insight into to game design and what makes it work and be interesting. And then there's some that actually do hit that good mark. And people not being able to recognize it because of the stigma of Kinect. And there's a person out there that was like, you like the Kinect. You like the PlayStation Move controllers. You like the PlayStation I and AR games and things like this. Those are stupid, and therefore, no matter what you say, no matter what it applies to, that your opinion is completely invalid. Um, and that is mind-boggling to me. That is mind-boggling to me because, of course, that is a very subjective concept. Right? That person doesn't value the same things that I do, and therefore, they don't value my opinion. And that's okay. But then to actively seek me out and then try to constantly invalidate me based on this belief that because I like this one thing or I find value in unlikely places, that it therefore invalidates all other opinions related regardless of its 
of the uh, validity of them. It invalidates it all because of that. And it's so wild. It's so frustrating to be in that position. Because I love to talk games. I'm sorry, we're not getting into gameplay here. I apologize. I love talking about games. And I love talking about design of games. I love to talk about the perspective of games and how other people perceive games, how I perceive games. Um, and I love just sharing that enthusiasm with other people. And it's so frustrating when a person comes in and says, you're an idiot for doing that. And, and then when people hear me rant, there are folks that'll be like, you don't let them bother you. Just ignore them. And it's like, hmm. Just ignoring them means that I have to then be careful about what I say. Because my enthusiasm, my love for this stuff, and my need, my deep-rooted need to talk about games will invariably attract the attention of somebody who's going to disagree. And, but also disagree so vehemently that it's irrational. Um, that you, like, that means that I have to watch what I say. That means that I have to be guarded. And I don't want to be that. So I'd rather just rant and rave for a minute. Sorry. Anyways, this guy says, where's Gek? Who are you? Um, Summer says, earlier you asked what I've been playing, Bogus. I've barely been able to play games outside of streams lately. And I think that I've only played about four or five games that came out this year so far. One of, or two of which I beta tested. There's nothing wrong with that, too. Life sometimes just takes takes all the energy out of it you know you, you've been busy with a whole bunch of projects with things to do and that's okay um i always like to think that like for folks who are experiencing games in one way or another yeah, busy with surviving my shitty job absolutely look it's it's funny there's the active and passive participation in games Folks are like, why would anybody watch a stream? Why would anybody engage in YouTube videos? Like, why would anybody try to participate in that stuff? You're not playing the game. It's like, yeah, but there is an actual, like, a, a passive engagement in it. <clears throat> You're getting to experience a perspective. And that's, what's Im that's what is important to that person, right? They're getting to experience somebody's perspective. They're getting to appreciate someone's perspective. And they get a better understanding of games in general. And it may make them inform their decisions on whether they want to play that game or not. Or... It gives them insight into a particular perspective if it lines up with their own so that they can make better judgments. Summer says, my participation in games has been more passive than active for most of the pa 10 past 10 years. Wow. Ever since streaming became a thing and probably LPs before that already. Oh, absolutely. And there's nothing wrong. There's nothing invalid with that. It's, it's funny because like I'll talk about adventure games, right? And my good friend Nick and I, like we play text adventures together. Uh, we're going to be playing some more soon. We're playing some more interactive fiction, I promise. Um, he and I will play together, and I never control the game, but I haven't. I, I'm actively participating in it. When we beat the game, I beat it. If someone helps in chat who hasn't already played it before, someone is following. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow. Oh my goodness, all of my things are oh, my notifications are all awry. I'll have to get that fixed. Um, um. Thank you for the follow summer. Uh, if someone in chat doesn't have a guide pulled up or isn't like hasn't beat it before and is actively participating in like puzzle solving and helping and being a part yeah. of that, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> thank you for the sub too. Oh my gosh. Um, there's normally supposed to, it's normally supposed to be see through because I I removed the green, but you know I I moved over to a PC a new PC for OBS and I haven't switched everything over. Thank you for the sub too. That's very kind of you. Um, they've beaten it. They've been an active participation in that game. They beat it. It's an adventure game. They used their mind. They actively engaged in it. They're a partner in this, this completion of the game. They have. In my view, that is the case. Um, this year I've been focusing more on gaming communities and Twitch and Discord than actually gaming. And I've also been focusing on music more than gaming. And Seville Castle Wars, your music, by the way, is fantastic from what I've seen in, in Hungry's Discord. Focus on music is great. I'm also trying to do that when I can. And I've been, I, I mean, there's so many projects. Writing for zines, um, uh, doing the Video Game Obscura blog, um, prepping for um, YouTube videos and getting stuff kind of ready for that eventually. I've been getting a lot more stuff in the works. Um, and then, of course, I've been writing a text adventure with my good friend Mike, which we're going to get out by the end of the year, hopefully. Seven Guests of War says, in some ways, creating electronic music is like playing a game. Like, really, it scratches the same itch of solving problems? Absolutely. And pattern recognition. 
um, I always see music as pattern recognition, and it, it's a, it is a rhythm game, but a rhythm game with no rules, if that makes sense, because everything's a rhythm game. Sorry, he wants to know where Gek is. Who are who am I? Uh, I'm afraid Gek is dead. He fell fighting the Mykonids. In the name of the Absolute, you will let me pass. Athletics push the Drogon into the water. I'm gonna yeah, deception, baby. I'm afraid he's dead. Look at all of this, all of these bonuses right now, and refrains. Rhythm is it? Rhythm is a dancer. Come on, man. Okay, we're good. We're good. Bard, baby. I'm a half orc bard. Damn. The sergeant will be pissed about her boots. Come on. Let's get you to shore. You're the one telling the sergeant what happened. The rest of you. Bard is best. I'll be heading back with this one. Bard is best. Bard is always best. Continue forward in silence until the lights of a camp. Through the oh, Philby. That was loud. Um, I'm I'm always like, if I can be a bard, I'll always be a bard. Bards are fun. Bards are great. They're almost always useless mechanically in combat, but so helpful in everything else, or incredibly not helpful depending on who you are as a player. I should head off. Need to sleep soon. I hope we get enough rest for a change for work. Well, yeah, get some rest. Absolutely. Take care of yourself. Get rest. Thank you for the follow, and thank you for the sub. That was really kind of you. I'm always on. I've got a schedule. Um, I post it regularly. If you ever wanted to come in and, and say hi, I'm always here. I'm going to build Labo on Thursday in the morning. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. I'm so excited for Labo building. It's like my most excited, most anticipated thing. Ah. You shithead! Time you showed up. We got trouble. Spit it out, Sergeant. Finally choked on true soul near's prick. Whoa! The twat soul caused a rock fall. Trapped tighter than a ring on a fat finger. You're shitting me. You pay up? That's the trouble. He's got the gold on him. Sergeant's arm is falling off with all the gnome slaves she's been beating. Hi. Who's the whom, Grayman? Another slave for the dig. I'm a true soul, and you will treat me with respect. I was told to report to the sergeant. Don't worry about what I'm here for, I'll be on my way. You keep slaves there? I was told to report to the sergeant. Aye. He sniffed up Gek's corpse. Found the hoon sailing his skiff. That's so. I... You feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. We're not doing it. Gar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. Oh. Uh, I'll be. You're one of them cult freaks. Felt the tingle. Oh, she's What's probably so psionic. owes us a load of coins. You want through? Make a donation. I love. You see him, he's ready to go. Everyone else is like, yeah, whatever. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna fight. Let's do it. I'll take your head before you take my gold. Fine, take it. I'll be shagged to Shanatar. Shit's looking up. I got a hundred gold. You, that twat soul ain't settled up soon. There hey, is hell to pay for the lot of you okay, cult buggers. One second. I'm gonna go check on my young oldest. She's wanting to say something. One second. I'll be right back. Whee!
Boink. Boink. Sorry, we got everything going. Okay, we're good. Um, all right. What are you looking at? Move. Oh, shut it, lady. What's, What's wrong? wrong? Of course, of course you, do. you do. How's it going, Fred? Right, it's good to see you, my friend. What heavy chest? Where is that heavy chest? Where did that go? I saw it. It popped up. How you been, Fred Rice? I hope you're doing well. It's so good to see you, my friend. Okay. Hi, Mermath. Send it a message. <gasps> How's it going? Must have took you in. Who hung those around to dry? Me? Who else? My spiders sussed them out of hiding. They near taught them a thing or two, and I let them fly. Nice. Nice red race. I'd, like to, I'd love to hear it. Where'd they come from? Easy marks. Had the stench of the toplands. Hung them here as a warning. Ain't no one drooks with clan flame shade. Ooh. Aren't you guys fancy? Alright. So yeah, I can't search their bodies. Hi, little spiders. Oh, can I talk to animals? Do I have my animals each end? Yeah. Great. I speak true, brothers. You know it in your hearts. You know it in your very souls. We need no love. No spider queen. Father Murmuth is the head of Clan Lur. He hatched us, raised us, feeds us. What care we for his business? <sighs> he keeps us small. Keeps us contained. We should be with the Spider Queen. Revered. Adored. I think you should be too. Religion, recall your learnings about the Spider Queen. Let's do it. I get a bonus because of the bliss spores. Oh, roll the five, yes. You've read that harming spiders is illegal among Lod's faithful, and often punishable by death. Hi, Lip. How's it going, Lip? Is our past. Lolf is our future. These spiders are loyal to the local Dwergar. In the event of a fight, they will join the fray against you with slavering enthusiasm. I think this is just right. Among the Spider Queen worshippers, you'll reach your true potential. Yes. We're friends. Look, what have you been up to, my friend? My bite could be stronger. My venom more devastating. Xanta, is it so? This and so much more in Lord's hairy embrace. Ooh, hairy more embrace. Possible. Her embrace. We're ready. We follow. <laughs> yes. Now, brothers, our new dawn awaits. Oh shit. Oh shit, the spiders are gone. Um, lip. I've been irritable today, but that's likely just a me thing. Oh, that's a lip thing. We love our, we love the lip things. Um Dude, Lip. I miss you, my friend. We need to get a game together at some point. I just close my eyes for a few minutes, for like thirty minutes, and just get some rest. That's what I do. The prickly old curmudgeon. I'm with you. There are some days where I get kinda I get kinda cranky. Oh my gosh, all the dead gnomes. What the hell? Why are you pushing the dead gnomes? Here to kick some lakeside. I suggest you bugger off. <laughs> what terrible people. Grim Warwick, did you kill him? Oh, you're checking him for loot first. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. These trash don't have nothing on them but rocks. Rocks. I wouldn't agree with that. Inspect the corpses. 
Let's just let's go for it. Oh. Mmm. I want to roll again. I've got four inspiration. I think that's the max too. So like, let's just use them. There we go. That one looks fancy. I love Spotted his hat. Shiny trinkets on one of the corpses. No worries, Frederick. I'll be here. Hold on. Rock and stone. Made some buttercream frosting to put on cupcakes this afternoon. It helped to cheer me up some. Yeah, but then one of the kids spilled an entire cup of milk over a bunch of papers on the table. Oh no! Those are never fun. Eh, don't cry to a spilled milk clip. Slide a hand, reach for the trinket. You're wanted with the others. Deception, baby. And friends. Oh yeah, we got this. Thank the absolute. They're all yours. Absolute. Okay. Deep gnomes killed under the yoke of slavers. I'll take the lives of those who took yours. No shops on the fugue plane. I might have just look have a look in the pockets. Uh a potato. Thanks for the potato. That's the trinket. Fetish of Kalardun Smooth Hands. Invisibility. What? I'll take it. Thank you. Invisibility ring. Get some ice cream. Get some ice cream. I'll be here. I'm not going nowhere. Booze. Fish. Okay, nothing there. All right, let's see. Double iron doors. Ooh. Okay. You know what to do, buddy. What now? Should be easy. It's not a. Uh, it's not illegal. So. Now we're good. Twenty six. Like I have no problem here. We're min maxing these things. Hello? Silver knife. Oh, the scraps of a nightfall feast. Scraps of a nightfall feast. I've heard of that. A bank that ends with you murdering someone in Shah's name. Oh man, Where's Shadowheart would love this. I don't even know really what I am right now in the grand scheme of things. Like, where am I in this space? No fate of the shadows. Dude, I'm right here. No worries. I'll always be here. You go enjoy your life. Get stuff done. Have a good time. Don't worry. And thank you so much for coming in and just hanging out and keeping me company. Let's save, because I am terrified. There's something dripping this. Ochre jelly, oh shit. Um, alright, uh, can I, can I stealth? Can I be stealthy? Just like old times. No. Okay, let's get right here and stealth. What am I, am I stealthy? I am. Okay. Thirty-two! Oh, thirty-two points of damage is so good! Alright. Let's see. Ninety-five. Yeah, let's set up. Oh, the crit. We love the crit. Not balance. The victor's path. Hold on. We need to get up here. Um. Finding my way. Path 
path is interrupted. Oh, what is this interrupting? Shit. Is that better? There we go. Okay, Joey's dead. Right? Yeah. Absolutely get there. Oh man. Well let's get right here. Good idea, Carlac. I agree, Carlac. Good idea. Too many to throw. Oh damn. Just hit. Hack hack. Hack hack. There's another one. Oh shit. Can I throw... I think I can throw the water that I have. I got some water. Right? Yeah. I cannot throw it. Damn it. Never mind. Alright. What is that for me? Forever dauntless. Coming through. <laughs> Yee! It's gone. Dude, there's nothing more fun and fulfilling than that feeling right there. Okay, Carlac, what you got? Baby, can you get up there? No. You can oh 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 I totally can. I can totally get up there. Carlac, you're so good. Why are you so good at this thinking game? Watch this jump. Wee! <laughs> can I reach though? I don't think I can reach. That's fine. We'll we'll just do this. Seventeen. Uh, just do main hand then at that point. I'm well, gonna get one more hit on her. Don't hurt my girl. I can hit from there though. Like if I can hit from there and it not be blocked, why can't I do this? It wants me to move more. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I'll just do a normal attack. Time to press ahead. Pearl, ochre jelly slime. I don't need this sword. Heavy chest. 
Like, I don't even know where I'm going right now. Like, I decided to go off the off the trail. We followed, like, just, uh, we're following a... <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, allergy season. My allergies are terrible right now. Um, we're just kind of going where the, where the winds will take us. I should probably heal Karlak. Do you have anything to heal? No. Alright, let's give you some stuff to heal on Karlak. One of my oh, I should have rested before I even went into this place, man. I should have. Arrow of ice, arrow of lightning. Trap is on toolkit. Oh god, it tells me we're gonna need an arm, isn't it? Tools and a thick rope. These a vase. Guys, guys, don't go in the acid. Please. Helmets. Guy, you just walked in the acid, guys. Stop. Let's candle. That's a big jump. Blocked another target. Oh shit! Can I not make it over here? I don't think I can. Um. Oh, there we go. Right there. Good, good. Everybody made it. You gotta save scum. You must save scum at all times. Oh, this is like a this is a wolf. Not a wolf thing. Uh, uh the shadow lady. What's her name? You know her name. Let feast the eyes of the faithful. Know your goddess. Know her command. You can just go in through the other way. We don't have to go through the door. on map. Ooh, let's see. A map of Grimforge drawn by hand, yet highly detailed. Points of interest are marked with black X's, aside from two, which are identified by bold red circles. One on each level of the fortress. The words hiding spot are written within the upper level circle. Lower circle is identified as smoke powder reserve. Interesting. Oh, fish heads, I'll take that. Somebody was here recently. Oh, hello. Hold it! I swear to Iron Hand. One more step, and a blow is to chunks. An ashen scent fills the air. The barrel is filled with smoke powder, but the scent is acrid, as if contaminated somehow. Or much, much more concentrated. Oh. Let's not do anything hilarious. <laughs> Shoot you, Malthoon! I'll shut you down. Okay, lady. Chill. Hold on. There's something different about that powder. Calm down. Let's talk this through. You wouldn't dare. You don't have the courage. Holy hell, have you gone mad? Yeah, there's something different about that powder. Damn right, Fekka. Now shut your face before I melt it clean off. I know what you are. One of Nia's cult goons. Sailed right in. Better to die in this shit eat than rot in Moonrise. You want me? Come get me! No, 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 no! Uh, persuasion. Smile sincerely and hold out your hand. Are sure about this? Once you're dead, that's it. It's over. Uh, if I was a true soul, you'd be dead. Stand down before you hurt yourself. No, we're doing persuasion. We're smiling sincerely. See, we're friends! See, we're friends! 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 Don't do this! Don't pretend you... Give a shit about me! Actually kinda do, lady. Shit! I can't 
do it. Go on, drag me to Moonrise. I'll make you cook not to suffer. I don't want you. I'll take that smoke powder though. I'm not taking you anywhere. You're free to go. I'd rather have the pleasure of killing you with my own hands now. Well, aren't you sweet? I'm not stupid, you know. No such thing in Grimforge as kind hearts. Spit out what you want, and let's be done with it. How about a little of that smoke powder? I want nothing from you, I swear. Then prove it and leave. Where will you go? I go where there's shit to stir. And there's no shortage of options. Everybody's, I'm getting gone. You ought to everybody's just it. really got a potty mouth going on right now. Why you got a potty mouth, lady? She took the smoke powder. Read. Day one. Never saw a beast like it. Bloated with muscle. Tusks as long as my arms. Scent of charred flesh. But I saw no flames. The stone might have been mar parchment. So quick did the creature charge through it. The other justiciers are dead or close to it. It wasn't alone. Hell Knights too. Masks bolted to their faces like plaques to a keep wall. Day three. Trapped. Another rampage. And down the walls came. Started to dig. Not sure. Day seven. It's done. May Shar's shadow keep me. Sakura, how are you today, my friend? Tablet fragment? What are these? Read. Though the bottom edge is smooth, the jagged edge at the top of the tablet reveals it was broken away from a larger slab. Its inscription begins mid-sentence. Of obeyance, the word of Ketherick Thorm is the word of Shar. You shall put no good nor God nor mortal before him. You shall question him in neither word nor deed. When the sun has fallen and the moon is new, bow your head in prayer. Proclaim your devotion to Shar and her paladin, Ketherick Thorm. Promise your soul and flesh, and seek no fortune or favor. When your prayer is finished, speak thus. Mr. Shar, I've glorified your name. Master Thorm, I've cried out your word. I'm your servant forevermore. So said Shar to me, Ketherick Thorm. So it is decreed, and so it is done. Will the power is secret. Where your light shines, extinguish it. Heed the word of your mistress and master. Do this, and the Lady of Loss shall know you. And a ten day, and the Lady of Loss shall know you. The law of nightfall from the moon falls to the foulest of lights. Wow, okay. It peeks through cracks and fissures. I'm home, so tired. Oh, did you have a big day, Sakura? Hope we get some rest. It peeks through the cracks and fissures. Illuminates... Ah, uh, the most remote recesses of the Underdark. Light bestows hope, a pernicious notion which must be extinguished. At the darkest hour, pray to your lady and feast in her honor. The second day after, slay a disciple of Salune. None may be found a Lathandarian, a Lathandarian or Mistrian are an acceptable offering. Do this once a ten day, and the Lady of Law shall know you. The L. Inscription ends here. So said Shard to me, Ketherick Thorn. It was Lord... Ao, oh, who created chaos, it was from chaos that I formed, and it is I who anoint you, my paladin, from the day forth that my laws be known. The law of secrets, what is a secret? But truth cast into darkness. Lurk in the shadow and listen for hushed words. The softer a thought spoken, the more power it contains. The more discord it sows, the more scars it may carve. If a man bring rags of affairs, carry his word to his wife. If a daughter steals from her father, whisper the truth. The deceived turn to shar. Kogolds find no solace. Find solace in shadow. Do this. Oh, yeah. So that was the uh, the orders of the stuff there. So, all right. That was interesting. Oh, Shar. That's what a uh, Shadow Heart's a follower of. So, I want to talk to her about that stuff eventually. Grimforge history. Went to a state park in Georgia for this weekend. For the weekend, is a neat mountain. Lots of clay. Part of it collapsed from bad framing practices in the early mid 1900s. A lot of hiking. Nice. The bindings of this book is thicker than its combined pages, which are surprisingly devoid of detail. We know little of the ones that came before, but we know they worshipped the Lady of Loss. We know they constructed the Great Fortress and named. The next few words are smeared into legible. But from whence they came, and why they departed, this is a mystery even to Ketherick Thorm himself. 
What we do know is that Char's Chosen has heard her call. Just as Grimford served our mistress 800 years nigh, so it would again. Here, Thorm's dark justiciers shall rise. Here we'll fulfill our goddess's pact. Here we'll rebuild the lost city of Grimforge. So far will our shadow spread, and so dark will they be, that Salune's light may be forever extinguished. Interesting. Awesome. I'd love to see him. Taka, you know me. I'd love to see that stuff. Um, alright, so... Man. Alright. So let's head back. The way we came. It's in here. That's the door. Okay. Can I go down here? I think I can. Right? Invella target. No, I can't. Okay. Just making sure. This feels like a trap, like I'm gonna die. Just by standing here, you know? It's kinda cool they had these kind of visual points that are like, ooh, this is interesting. Oh, ooh. It also tells me there's more to this place than I see. That's real interesting. Yeah, no, today we spent our day, we went fishing with the kids, um, and we went out to see our grandmother um, and check up on her. I'm missing someone. Where's our, where's our girl? Carlac, you coming? Carlac? I'd love to, thanks. No, 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 no. no. Everybody, come on. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Come on. Come on. You made the... You, Asterion, you made the jump previously, dude. There. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Nobody make that jump. Nobody make that jump. That's the one thing that kind of bothers me sometimes is that happens where they can't make the jump. Or they can, but it's like really close. And sometimes they make the jump and sometimes they don't. I'm like, you can, you can just make the jump, dude. Just just do it. You can do it. You can make the jump. Curious. Curious what? Oh, right here. Who's stone? Can't go too heavy. Oh, that just say like somebody climbed up here with the rope. I think that's what they was trying to say. Maybe. Hmm. All right, so we're back here. Stuff's happening up here. Let's see what's going on. Oh, hold on, metal door here. We got a door here. So many secret passages. Ocean dye. Lots of coats of fabric, leather, and even metal. Smoke powders. Oh, the smoke powder satchels are so good. They they do so much damage. I love it. Collapsed archway. Oh, I see. If you can't find the thing, you can get in here still. I love that they had these little things, right? Like, if you're a small animal or have a familiar, 
You can get through those places. Okay, so that's Marneth. We talked to him. And where are we on the map here? like that poisons the soul till one day you drop dead or the person you're fucking with snaps and puts a sword in your eye collect right true soul yeah tell the sergeant we won't move a pebble your cap is most entertaining how might i get one of my own or a true soul is trapped shouldn't you be helping you discuss this later how do you live with yourself um shouldn't you be helping hold out your hands Oon. you heard the man let's see him Probably keep your hands to yourself. Hey, they want to see the mark, right? Let's ask in more showing. I do look. Five working fingers, nice and meaty, prime for digging. You want near, you claw him out. My drinking hand's busy. Quit the blowhard, I can appreciate that. And you'd appreciate how few shits I have to give you. Oh, he's so hurt. Hey, Puppy dog guys. It. Where's my drink? Puffy dog guys. Right up. Piss pot. Stick shit. Dogs like smug. And he wrecked that shroom village. And then shagged it. <laughs> Here's to smug. Nasty prick. Hey. Piss off. Hey. You brewed him on your side. My side? I heard the piss pot. You're a true soul. Same as near. So like I said, piss off. They went so angry. Now you understand. Thula sent me to save you. <laughs> Thula was mad as a rutting badger, but she weren't a friend of any true soul. What about piss off, do you? Hold on. You aren't just talking shit, are you? No. Then shh. Keep it low. Don't let them hear you. We're the ones that are right here next to us. Now, why sure. In the hottest hells would a true soul be helping me? I'm not one. That's the thing. I'm not really a true soul. Doesn't matter. Do you want my help or not? What can I say? I just love killing. No one should serve a master. You deserve to be free. I think I'm not really a true soul. Fine. Let's say I believe you. You want to kill these peckers. I'm not complaining. But you better finish the job. Because I'll be the one to suffer if you don't. <clears throat> Ain't you hearing me, prickhole? Piss off to every last hell. How much health do they have? 54 and 44? I mean... I could probably tear them. You got one of Nair's moon lanterns, Jog. Moon lantern, what's that? Well, uh, pixie lamps. If you're headed to Moonrise, you won't last without it. Oh, is that the way the moon? Oh, I don't want to go there yet. With the death dark, choke you in no time. Death dark? What are you talking about? You daft. It's there in the name. Shadows <laughs> up there, black as the lower dark. A few sniffs could fell an ogre. Must be the shadow curse. We'll need Nier's lantern if we want to get through it. Afraid him. of the dark, are we? Very well. Let us save Nier if we must. Oh, Asterion. Stop being a dill hole, please. We're already over here. That's where we talked to the spiders. This is quite the place, man. What's a fort like this? Reinforcements, huh? 
Let's see how long you last. What now? Oh, jeez, I'm over encumbered already. My god. Alright, um. Yeah, where that? Yeah. Okay, what do we got on me? I got a lot of supplies, don't I? Send the camp. Camp. Okay. Oh, there's the forge. We're getting to the forge. The big hammer. Seen her run with a barrel under her arm. Just a small one, but enough to blow the drow out. Someone should grab it. Slaves are never going to manage with pickaxes. Can't go chasing maybes. The sergeant's our ticket in. Oh, would you look at that, Kerr? Someone's having a listen. Hi. It's me, Sylvie. With ancient resentment. Down the north. <laughs> True soul, no less. What do you think, Kerr? Should we take Nia's debt off him? You want my gold? You have to fight me for it. Don't be absurd. I hate these true soul cultists. Looks like you have a lead. I want you out. It looks like you. Sounds like you have a lead. You want my gold? Then you have to fight me for it. You don't need to ask twice. Your blade ready, Kerr. Drop it, Brithvar. You chop this one, and Nia won't pay a damn copper. Fine. Mm. Spill what you want, true soul, before I choke on your stench. Oh, I'm gonna spill your guts. No, I want you out. I see. ain't parleying with more twat souls. And you got the stench. If I didn't know better, I'd say a mind flayer shat a worm in your brain. You'd be right. Should split your head open and poke around in there if you lot don't pay up. That's then that ridiculous. I'm no more true soul than you are. I'm going to spill your guts. Oh. oh. The shiver returns. This time it's colder, sharper. The stench don't lie. You're one of them. Exception, I was a true soul that cold lied to me. Now I want revenge. You're imagining things. I never bow to the absolute. Um. I want revenge. Let's get that friend. Oh, thank you for the 31. I'm a mortal man. I get to avoid everything. Revenge, eh? In that case, I got a proposal. Want to earn some gold? I do. What gold? I thought you hadn't been paid yet. Depends what you need to be done. Thrins after the absolute glory. That's why she's got those slaves digging for Nia. But we ain't need glory. Just coin. And Nia's got plenty. Help Thrin free Nia. Then you and my chums grind him up. Whatever the spoils, we'll drop you a fat cut. You in. Thrins are good. I expect half the spoils. Twenty half you drugnin. Fine. Half it is, but first we need to take care of something. You've seen that weird orb I floating about? Knife it and don't get caught. Okay. The cult watches through it, and we can't risk more twat souls showing up. You still standing about? Get on it. 
I don't know, chain explosive photo, that shit opened the tunnel. Good. Drop it near the rubble when it's time. Flaming arrow or some such will set it off. Okay. Now move. You're hogging my air. Oh, I can't wait to kill you, dude. Oh, a Sterian. Ooh, can I talk through it? Can't give up now. You stare into the eye. Your reflection stares back. The longer you stare, the more uneasy you feel. There is a presence. You are seen. Poke the eye, smile and wave. <laughs> Hi. The scrying eye doesn't blink. That's a beautiful wave. Hold on, I gotta go help my oldest. She needs help with something. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Hello, everybody! Okay, let's keep going. Thank you, Lip, for knocking the spam out. Alright, so what were we doing? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Asterion has to do... Where's that? Where did that orb go?
goes to plan, and how are delicious if it goes belly up? It's near. Let's see. There's all those dudes doing their choppy chops. Where'd that orb go though? There. There it is. Okay, hold on. Just like the old times. Okay, he's oh he's no longer hiding. Oh shit. Hello. Let's go. Dead or alive, we ain't get our coin to Don't mind me, little orb. Besides, yes, you see me sneaking. Nothing to see here, orb. How much does life does it have? It has eight? Okay. Have a lot on my mind. Um, well, in it. Careful. Come this way, Stern. So say your chum blows near out of breath. What then? On the hunt. Let's give someone a surprise. Ah, oh, shit. Hi. Let's. Oh, it knows every time that I do that. Every time I do it. It's just like, yep, I know, I see you. This area is so big. Every time I thought I uncovered all there is to see in Grimboard to find new places. Indeed. So the invisible. Go. Okay. And now. There we go. Blind the absolute. Breathing, despite everything. There we go. The eyes clobbered. Good work. Time to bust near out and shred him. As I'm gonna do that. Some days back, a slave gnome bolted with smoke powder. Handy stuff. Bet her crew know more than they're letting on. See if you can get him to talk. Once Nears out, we'll pound him to powder and take our dues. We're gonna take our dues and then I'm gonna kill all of you guys. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. But we're gonna see what we can do with all these other people first. Almost put a hole in your bow. Don't make me wish I had. Oh, okay. You seem really nice. Mind master. An outsider. Just what we needed. You're welcome, mind master. We need to get that near oh. guy unstuck. All those gnomes are done for. Come on. Focus. Kind of like I'd love to be able to touch you properly. <laughs> it's like, oh wait, no, they gotta focus, focus, focus. Friends in a right ball, like that rubber leg budget. No matter how hard she whips them gnomes, <laughs> Nira's gonna be pissed. What you want anyway? Here to yap or looking to buy? Dry land means fresh stock. Indeed, Knight Rider. Yes, absolutely. She's the best. All right, what's this guy got? Anything good? Great clip plus one. Shining staver of skulls. Ooh, bow of the banshee. Um, on a hit, possibly inflict fright and gain a one d four bonus to attack and damage against frightened creatures. Ooh, Dragoral's greatsword. What does this do? Just two d six slashing. And then plus one weapon enchantment? 
I would unlock something fancy. What is the thing that it unlocks? Can I see? Colossal Onslaught. Channel your meddlesome strength and strike all creatures in a line. Ooh. And you get cleave. Oh, we need to give that to to our girl. What's she what's she what's she rocking? What's she rocking right now? Yeah, 2d16, and this thing does 717. Okay, so 7 to 21 or 717, okay. Okay. Hmm. I like the 50% the on I still like that one. Never mind. We're good, dude. I'll take your healing potions, though. Have some rings. Come Thank back you. anytime. The slowest of you lost. Bugger off! You're distracting the slaves. They run. You're dead. I like your cool masks, dude. What now? What's up, Sarge? Bare feet, I see. And have these boots from a runaway gnome. Yours, perhaps? A few reclaimants are planning to kill near. Let me guess. Brithvar and Kerr. They've been a thorn in my ass since Nier hired us. Ignore Dumb and Dumber. They'd jump down a well if they thought there was gold at the bottom. Nier can handle himself. What college is my bard? Reason I joined. That's a great question. Which way the lava flows. Hold on, I'll answer that question in a second. This is how you welcome to True Soul. I noticed an orb floating around. What's it doing? Scrying eye. Nair says the absolute scryers see through them. Mm, watching. Judging. I nabbed these boots from Runway Now we're Never thought I'd see these back. Nasty sneak gave even Gek the slip. Uh. Crafty little shits, these ones. You need a stiff cane to keep them in line. Here, then. His bounty's yours. Now move. I've got no time for the parasite stairs. Ooh. It's a mere tickle. You hear no thoughts or memories. Just an echo of scars that never healed. Ooh. A true soul, eh? Useless wreck of a lookout could have told me. Glad you're here to take responsibility. Tunnels collapsed. Trapped true soul near. He's stuck in there with poisoned geezers. We don't get him out soon. Geezers? But the poisoned old men? No need for that. Nears is the only head that matters to us. How'd he get trapped? Place is older than bone dust. Previous tenants left a trap. Dropped a shit ton of metal once we dug a ways in. Get near out, and you'll have the absolute's blessing. No doubting that. Uh, is this better? So. Set it near the rubble and ignite it. That'll blow the drow out. Let's see. Okay. Um. I get to choose armor of uninhib uninhibited Kushigo. Oh, so this would be for for uh, monks. Okay. And then bracing band. After showing an enemy the wear, showing an enemy the wear gets a plus one to their armor class until the next turn. Oh yeah, let's take that instead. I'm taking that for sure. We'll give that over to uh, Karlak because she likes to push people around. Let's see, where's that ring? Let's see, what is my what's my character? Let's see, character sheet. I am a college of lore. Yeah. Uh collecting knowledge from scholarly tomes to peasant tales. Yeah, so I got that. That's what I got going on right now. All right, what's up here? God. 
We're gonna do some do some killing in a minute and just taking everybody out. Go make yourself useful or get lost. We're gonna take them all out. In just a second. Hi, Murthus. How's it going? Stonemason. Oh, yeah, that's right. That goes talking. I can't focus with you breathing so close. <sighs> I'll breathe a little closer, lady. <laughs> but you got Stonemason. If you aren't here to inspect the stonework, then get lost. And if you are, well, I doubt you've got anything useful to say. On the contrary. Ooh, let's talk to these guys. The calf and the elder. Tired. Sleep. Rest, little one. But do not take long. I feel his shadow. Ooh. I heard his name whispered. The rock shivers from the sound. The Catherick Thorn. Catherick Thorn, a familiar name. Halson mentioned his ground. I like this. Let's see. Do you mean Catherick Thorn, the Dark Justice Commander? Mm. Mighty elf, cloaked in darkness, ten masters ago, and ten more. But I remember there was the work. And the blood. There was the Thorn's army. There was the Hell Beast that broke them. Ooh, hell the Catherick Thorn's name faded into stone until the near came. Impressive memory. How old are you exactly? What kind of Hell Beast could have destroyed Catherick's army? I saw tusks and flesh, Ooh. smelled fire and eggs. It came with the mask men, crashing and smashing. It came with the mask men. What does the near have to do with the Catholic? I know not, so I say not. Yet I hear his name again. Ooh. Said. The shadows. Send by the shadows. Present memory holder you exactly. I outlived my mother and her mother's mother and many mothers beyond. Blessed to see many live, cursed to see many die. Hey little one. Afraid. Afraid of Thorm. Do not think on it further. Rest. I will see you safe. Interesting. Skeletons. Skeletons. We've got spooky. Ooh, damage dark just as your armor. I mean, I'll take it for what's her name. I'm sure she'll dig that. Lab. So this is for the day. The skeletons. You realize they are all clad in the same dark armor. No burial. Just slaughter. Damn. History battle on its way the courses more closely, yeah. Oh, we're good. Barely made it. Among the various fabrics, you recognize the unmistakable symbol of Shar, the Dark Lady. Whoever killed them made an enemy of a powerful goddess. Let us do what we can to avoid their fate, then. These corpses prove one thing. This is the city Halson mentioned. Yeah, for sure. Watch your back. Simple. Yeah, that'll work. 
easy. That's why you keep them around. It just makes things a lot easier. Light crossbow, longsword, javelin, heavy crossbow, hand crossbow. Sure. No Dwergar made this. The design looks sharp. Huh. So he's got that bow, but let's give that to Philby. Let's hope for gold. Gold. Not as bad as it could have. have. to keep going. We need to save. There's so much going on. It's insane. This is ridiculous. This is wild. There's just so much going on. Come, children! Carlac, you can make that jump. This is ridiculous. Carlac, you can you can make that jump. I guess we don't need to. We just got a chest here. Be wary. This place is trapped. Disarm. Fifteen. What do we got? I'm good. I should be able to get it. A one! I should be able to get it. No problem. No problem. A one. Here you go. I have to use inspiration. I'm using inspiration, then I don't have any other disarm tools? I don't believe that. Do 27. Yeah, roll the one. Ugh. I of ice, potion of glorious vaulting, and the real sparky sparks wall. The real sparky sparks wall, okay. Uh, a lightning aura. Cool. I don't have anybody that can use shields though, right? I don't think my dude can do shields. Maybe he can? Let's see. As Philby. No. I don't think anybody can can Will. Oh, Will might be able to. Will, can you hold? Do of the people. Yeah, he can. There you go. Have sparky, sparksy spark wall, sparks wall. What the? I wonder what that does. Items, passives. I don't know. Interesting. Heading All right. Up. We're jumping across, brother. Look at all this. Like, can we... I mean, I think we... Can we get down there? I think we can. It looks like it is a place you can get down to. That looks like a designed place that we can actually reach. Don't waste a step. Right? Like, am I crazy? Yeah, because there's a chest over there and everything. I wonder how to get over there. Oh, okay. So we can climb down from there. I love when you're like, you get a better vantage point. You get to see so much more. Well, hold on. Let's let's keep searching here first. There's more to see here. Oh, what's wrong here? I'm gonna sleep. Please, <coughs> sorry. Allergies. You grab a cane and whip these drugnin beasts into shape. That rubble. Welcome back, Red Race. And my patience is hanging on by an arse whisker. Shouldn't be trouble for a brute like you. Oh, are you... A brute? Is that what you see? Sure as shitting. That orc blood makes you damn near feral. <sighs> there's no denying the blood call. And there's oh. no shame in it. Now go on, brute, and get these beasts moving. This is interesting having to do this part twice. I know this creature as well, I should give them another lash of the cano. Leave it to me, I'll show these deep broth who's in charge. Go on then. Light a fire under the buggers. Uh hey. Knock these assholes oh off the No more. No more pain. No more work. All must die. 
might do it. Persuasion, give in to your rage and avenge your pain. Don't shrug us all, just your masters. You made to serve this zero meaning. Uh, breathe, focus. If you strike your missiles, we'll destroy the herd. No. Keep into that rage. We're friends. Oh, we're lucky. Welcome back, Fred Race. What did you, what'd you have? Yes. I hope you're enjoying your relaxation. Nah, dude. No, I'm gonna do. Can I get around? Uh, I'd like to get around. Okay, let's not invoke attack of opportunity. Let's see. Oh no, I can't get him over there. Dang, it's just shy. Okay. In position. It's time to go. Let's do this, Helen. Let's throw his ass. Too heavy to throw. Oh, come on now. Okay. Uh, rage is a bonus action. Let's rage. All right. Now, can I do my rage move? What was hold on? Barbarian. No, not yet. Okay, let's just attack his ass. Throwing people with her is so much fun, indeed. Oh, I hurt, I hurt him pretty bad. He's dead. Easy peasy, lemon a squeezy. Yeah, yeah, you get over the edge. Do the hunter's mark on Will, yeah, that's a good idea. Alright, let's uh let's just uh here you go. Let's um seventy, sixty-five, yeah. Enjoy guys. Oh I missed on that one, but the other one's gone. Goodbye. Vernon! Welcome long time to see Vernon, how are you my friend? It's so good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Can we push him? There he goes. Long time to see Vernon. How are you, my friend? What have you been up to? How are you enjoying the game? Do me a favor, smash this rubble, the rubble for you. No, 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 no. I don't need you to do it. You, you are doing okay. We'll find a safe place. No more hurt. How far are you? Are you still in Act One? I'm loving it, man. It is absolutely fantastic and stellar. Oh, yeah, there's there's a cave in here. Oh, there's a cave in here. I can't wait to sleep. Can they help with this rubble? We'll find a safe place. You helped me. I helped you. I am a half orc bard. Absolutely half orc. Come on, over Vernon. Philby, he's rocking it. Okay. Oh. Devil foil mask. Adamantine slag. Oh, that's part of a quest. Specks of adamantine in the slag. Um, where's the there's the mask? Where'd the mask go? It was here just a second ago. It popped up there we go. Devil foil mask. They're all gone. Hell's foot soldiers. This belonged to America. One of Hell's foot soldiers. Oh. Can I equip it? Oh, Philby. We're gonna talk our way through this. Philby's gonna talk his way through this. Look at him. Look at him now with his silly mask. We're talking our way through. We are absolutely going to talk our way through this. 
I should save. Or save it for me, thank God. What are you playing, Vernon? Right, um, so I'm also playing on my own with a, a Carlac playthrough. And there is, uh, oh man, look at all this. Look at this. What a sight to behold, man. Oh, things are going to get weird. Incense. Gold. Lots of incense. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Three, four different unique uh, art for incense. That's a lot. That's excessive. What is going on? This place just goes on and on and on. It's wild. Ow, shit. Did that... Okay, there's a blast mine. Well, shit. Guys, I just walked right into that orb of dark vision. Whittle Ranger, Beastmaster, my solo playthrough. Rock No Millimental Monk and Co op. Mmm, nice. Love to see it. Love to see me some gnomes. Shit. Oh my god, trap time. There it is. Alright. There's probably lots of traps around here. Okay. Watch how you go. Trap. No, guys, guys. Oh, shit, guys. Come on now. We're fucked, aren't we? Yeah, we're fucked. Medium toughness, okay. Can I whack it without getting attacked? Take it. No. Medium toughness. What can she do? She should be able to do something, right? You think? Oh, I get that close. Immune to slashing damage. Oh shit. So hold on, I need to get her something bashing. Do I have anything bashy bashy? Yeah, we do. Here we go. Can she equip that now? No. Okay. End turn. Oh god, we're doomed. Hold on, we need to load. We need to load. We totally botched this. Okay. You do this like one person at a time, because this is too much. Okay. Whew. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Ooh hoo hoo. Um, what act are you in? Are you still in Act 1? Um, Vernon? I am. I have to I have to recommend origin character playthroughs are incredibly interesting <clears throat> because it offers perspective of those characters in these situations you're getting into their their head like you get into their their mind and also the NPC interactions are very different than um than are you when you have a creative character um and so when you're working with the um the different party members they behave a lot different they have a lot of unique situations and scenes so it's really exciting. I just got to Moonrise Towers. Okay, thanks. I'll definitely do an origin character one. It's worth it. Um, and even, like, because it was like, oh, do a dark, do a dark urge or whatever it is. And it's like, no, if you play as, like, if you play as, as, um, Lazelle, the beginning 
probably Gale. Who plays Lee Sel in the beginning? It's it's different. <laughs> it's different. That's it's got to Moonrise Towers, haven't figured out how to enter it yet. Ooh, fun. I haven't even I mean I'm obviously not even close. I'm obviously not even close. I'm gonna probably do the mountain pass after this. Like I'm not gonna go to Moonrise Tower from down here. I wanna go to the mountain pass and like see all this stuff. I'm gonna see everything. But yeah, no, that's just so much. You like Gale? I am I am a I am not a fan of Gale. I don't like Gale. I don't like Gale. Gale's fine. It's just Will is growing on me. I didn't like it was him and Gale were like the two. I was like, eh, I don't care. Um and then uh but Will's growing on me. So right now it's it's Will Carlack and and Asterion. The dev said Dark Urge isn't ideal for first playthroughs. Absolutely, yeah. I'd like to try a wizard solo. Ooh. Things also, if you kill Shadowheart from the very beginning, things are very different. Okay, we're breaking up. Step carefully. There's a trap. Okay. One at a time. Trap. Be cautious. Okay. Save. Another trap there. So many traps. Like, this doesn't sound safe. Sounds like a bad idea. Oh, there's levers. Oh, God. Interesting. There's a lot going on here. Is the door? This is huge, dude. This is huge. And it goes to raise up. Oh. Why would you want it raised up? There's a reason for this. There's a reason for it being raised up, and I don't entirely know what it is. Um, because I actually don't have any disarm tools, I think I'm all out. Disarm? Trap disarm toolkit. How many do I have? Oh, I got a bunch. I got a bunch. I could disarm them all, but I don't want to waste them all. Especially if I can just circumvent them. Take that cabbage, though. Why is there... Oh, it's down at the bottom. Philby. Philby. Don't even, don't even think about it, buddy. I just want to know. What's all the way over here? I just want to know. My curiosity knows no bounds. <gasps> Moo! That Elder Roth is... One of them said Moo. Shit. I missed one of the perceptions. Let's get everybody over here. Staring to need your eyes, buddy. Uh, okay. Every time we fail this perception, I'm like freaking out now. I'm like, oh no. What? What am I getting into here? She's like, wee. Oh, see, there it is. Yeah, there's always traps. Philby, there's always traps, buddy. You don't consume them unless you fail and you want to try again. What? You absolutely do, don't you? I thought you do. Hold on, let me see. I've got 11, 
right? Let's see. Oh, you don't. Oh, I thought you did. Well, then never mind. Let me just disarm all these then. I thought I always. I just always assumed you did. That's on me then. Quick step. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Fred Rice. I was just being cautious. I was just being like very frugal with my disarm traps. I had no idea. I always like it's used your disarm toolkit. I was like, oh, well, then it expends it, but apparently not. Okay, we'll take it. So then, everybody, let's go do this treasury thing, cause oh, that's gonna continue through. There's more. So let's just move through here and do this one, cause this I think is gonna be a dead end, or we can get down below and see some stuff. Yeah, you're probably going to be going by this bridge again. Exactly now, I have to do this over and over and over again. Oh god! Oh god! <gasps> I almost ran right into that. This is why you have a staring on your team. Lock picking impossible. All right, let's get the whole team together. News team assemble. It's a medium toughness, so we could break it if we had the stuff for it, but we don't right now. Looking ahead. Let's just go down here and see what we can find. Always use the get toolkits. A heavy chest. Grease bottle. Part of me thinks this is a great position to be in to like do an ambush. You're usually going to have your party members walk straight into traps that they already know about. Why wouldn't they make you lose the kit to disarm each one? Exactly, Josh. Exactly. See? And how's it going, by the way, Josh Krebs? It's good to see you. All right. So let's go down here and do our thing. He'll be still wearing his his dumb mask, isn't he? Okay, good. All right. Um. Come on, let's go. Carlac, you're gonna be managing the you're managing the controls. Keep going. Oh no, I can I can mage hand. Who's got mage hand? I think we have someone with mage hand. Does Will have mage hand? I can use mage hand for this. This makes sense. Where am I needed? I do have mage hand. Save. And mage hand. Pull the lever, mage hand. Pull up mage hand. Sort of mold. Okay. No time to rest. So what ways do we got here? We got this this path here. We got this path. There's so many paths to take. I think we jump across first. Yeah, there's a bunch going on here. A ladder. Way too many paths. Way too many paths. Take 
Take it slow. Get him on the other side here. Did this blast thingies, blast traps. Okay. Destroyed beds. Lots of blood. Broken shackles. Ooh. Bloody tracks. Quite small too. A gnome found some trouble here. Bloody footprints. Bloody tracks. Quite small too. A gnome found some trouble here. Where did they go from here? Right? The tracks lead this way. Where the heck did that gnome go? shackled here interesting yeah there's just so much this is like a this is labyrinthine the best way to describe it is labyrinthine it's just these interweaving like parts there's such verticality to this to this area and there's just so much going on let's look at the dormitory plaque Come, all who are weary, sleep and forget. Uh, I don't want to sleep and forget, though. I'd just like. Well, hello. Oops. Okay. Let's crack it open. Twenty-six. Terrified. Stop me yet. Nice. Dormitories. Oh, what is what is this? It's like some molten lava, some kind of sludge. Char Charon Inquisitor. Oh, here we go. Harper Key. Master Ketherick, my whip has finally coaxed some particulars from the captive Harper. To wit, she revealed the location of her stockpile in a rocky overlook. I investigated but found the chest in question is trapped. An item to open it might break its contents completely. Spire refuses to reveal how to open the chest, even under threat of death. Only crying, Lux Splenda, with every lash. Some type of watchword, no doubt. Interrogation continues. And again, please accept my most humble apologies for any earlier oversights. Rest assured, I will not misidentify any more of my fellow... Sharon as spies. May they walk forever in shadow. Oh, Sibley, you did a shitty job. Is that watchword? Looks splendor. Give a light spell a try. That should get us into that chest. Well, when we find one, we'll do it. Don't worry. Something's sparkling here somewhere. Good, but we could probably get down our own way. Right? I'm seeing little sparkles, and I'm like, ah! It's just the lighting. But it, it, oh, it feels like there could be something. Oh, yeah, we, we were here already. Down below. I don't need the boost right now, guys. I'd love it, but I don't need it. Oh no! Tarnished silver key. Stone beds. Philby received a thing, Infernal Legion. Shield mode. A steel mold. Used in forges to cast armor and weapons. Okay. These doors open up. Yeah. Oh, what is what is this? What is this? Hell's boar. Oh hello, Hell's boar. An Amerigon Legionnaire. Alright. Alright. 
Hi, everybody. Um. Oh, geez, there's a guy right here. Oh, it's so sneaky. All right. Ten. And then let's let's heal some folks because we uh. So I wasn't expecting all this. Heal. Them. Get back, Philby. One shot. Oh, I didn't get him one shot. Hello. Oh. oh shit. Shit. Where is everybody? We all okay? We okay? Everybody? Everybody okay? We're okay. Okay, good. Um, it's let's rage, baby. I got rage charges in me. Just go fight. Oh, she can she can kill. Let's see. I should probably kill these guys since the uh Yep. Have a second one. Reckless attack. She's running hot. Oh she's running real hot. Oh no, what's going on? Oh she's burning. Frenzied, threatened, okay. Um, disadvantage, let's step back. Pass interrupted. <clears throat> You'll love to see it. Philby, get in there, buddy. Let's uh, get this homeboy out of the way. Do I not have any more? I don't have any more slots. Oh my gosh. Okay. You're doing great, Philby. Let's find some prey. Come on, dude. <laughs> I love you just throws that out there already. For the drop. Oh! I already had that drop, but I guess I got it again. Nice! A double drop. We love a double drop. Alright, um, can I pick his ass up? I can't. He's too heavy to throw. Oh, I can do this, though. No, too heavy. Frenzied strike. I can attack with your oh okay so I can do three hits right now with this dude one oh, I didn't even need it Jesus Mary and Joseph um can we cool her off there we go need to find a way forward oh no it will be considered stealing if we loot these things. Oh, they all went up in flames. Not the Hellbor, the, the Legionnaire, dude. It's a double foil mask. You're going to Halberd. American wore it, but they won't fight without a commander. I bet you, if we all get those masks on, something's going to happen. So, Windy 10. It's a two handed halberd. Doesn't do anything crazy, though. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get a long rest in just a minute. I think once, once from here we are. Looks for fire resistance. Yeah, we'll take that. Double foil mask, yes. One for everyone. Yeah, we're all wearing that mask. That's what's happening.
We need one more. You're one. You are a legion. Without personality and evangelically born only to fight. When within 20 meters of another creature wearing a Maragon's mask, strength increases by one and intelligence, wisdom, and charisma decrease by one per nearby mask. What? Fire Stoker. Okay, so I can equip this. I might be wearing that then. Wood bark. Pegasus feather. Okay. My. Oh, there's something. Something was. Something was. Hunt. Something was orange. What was orange? That's the key. Sneaky. Old letter. Sybil, my scouts bring me troubling word that Moonhaven yet stands. Have you forgotten the three laws? Would you turn your back on Mr. Shar? Tonight you will beg Shar's forgiveness. Tomorrow I depart Moonrise Moon I depart Moonrise Towers for Grimforge. A ten day hence I shall march the dark justiciers to Moonhaven myself. By the time the first star trembles that night, the Selenites shall be slain and their allies routed. Speak your prayer thrice nightly, Sybil. Once at nightfall, once at moon zenith, and once before sunrise. I shall remind you the words, lest you forget forgotten. Mr. Shar have glorified your name, Mr. Th Master Thorm. Cried out your word. I am your servant forevermore. Demonstrate your devotion, and Shar may still know you. Fail it. You are not but dust, unknown and unremembered. Your master, Ketherick Thorm. Ooh. Um, let's get Philby having this bad boy equipped. Deals damage to burning targets. Um, okay. Yeah, can we do a long rest here? Can we do a long rest here? I'm curious. In a couple minutes, we're about seven minutes away from a, um, from a another ad break. You're a little, a little baby face. The poor evil cultist needs our help. Nier's voice fades, but your head still tingles. I love our little, our little baby faces. Yeah. Starbucks says, imagine wearing a mossy mask. Mmm. A mossy mask. Hi, everybody. Ooh. What you got, Scratch? Scratch has got something. Dog holds a well-chewed ball <gasps> in his mouth. Oh, uh, hand that over. Oh no, no, no! Hold on, hold on. All right. It's only fair that you enjoy it too. But if you feel like throwing it, I wouldn't mind that at all. I give you pets. It's my weird baby face mask. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. I look like a crazy person. Until the roots spread into your face. Oh no, the mossy masks. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that ball for you, buddy. Where's the ball? Let's get the ball. Oh, and it squeaks. And it squeaks. I got two for some reason. I've got two balls. Throw. Good boy. What's up, Gale? My condition is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. I got you. Have a frayed hood drow hood. Yes. Enjoy the frayed drow hood. Thank you. This game is a mossy mask and I did put it on. Wouldn't recommend it. Ooh. I'd wear it. I don't know what it does, but all right, let's do it. It is a strange experience. Each time anew, I curl. Lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. Fredericks, I'll just say it killed me faster than Gale did. This doesn't feel quite right. It never feels right, 
but it relieves. This doesn't relieve. Oh. Yeah, the draw that had that hood had syphilis. I'm sorry, Gale. I'm sorry about that, dude. <laughs> Gale's hat. I love it, too. Please tell me we didn't just waste a piece of magical equipment. You all right? You do plenty for me, more than you realize. But this cannot be remedied. <clears throat> the magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time. <laughs> I had to give him the foppish hat. I had to give him the foppish hat. Drizzles. The embers still sizzle. The fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. I could serenade you. Thank you for the artifact. Would you would, would a, a little trouble serenade help, too. Gail? A great deal of trouble indeed. <laughs> You're welcome, Gail. Here, I could play you a song. I now have the spider's lyre because I got a special lyre. I can play a special song. Know any volo tunes? Sort of wish I could play now. Oh, shut up, play Zell. Nobody likes you. Every time the game warns me that I'll die, I doubt it and pay the price. You always have to, just a little bit, right? You always have to a little bit. Thanks for the tip, Gail. I appreciate it, buddy. So, are we saving this near from suffocating or leaving him to die? I'm fine with <laughs> the masks. You know what? We're keeping that. We're keeping the masks on the whole game. Whole playthrough, masks are on. We probably should, if only for the gnome's sake. Gods, really? Oh, saving a drow, I can understand, but saving gnomes? <laughs> but if you insist on being a hero, I won't get in your way. Just don't expect me to help, either. Okay. Hi, Carlac. What are you thinking about? You? What it's been like not to touch him for such a long time? Hmm. Sad. I couldn't let myself feel sad in the hells. Letting my guard down would have been a death sentence. And letting, say, a cambion near me would have been disastrous. I thought it best to just to keep my distance but loneliness that deep gets oh. into the marrow now that i'm here among friends i can feel it burning out of me little by little step by step day by day uh what you're probably... you start i mean i'm gonna trace an epicurean about my fingertips you give me chills baby no mean feet at my temperature. Gods, we better find a way to cool me off soon. I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. I'm just saying. All right, let's see what we got. Who else is up? Who's up for conversation? Hey, Lazel, how are you doing? Speak. You okay? These dreams lingered in my memory. Do you think the strange figure will come it back? Certainty. I had assumed our parasite served a geish elder. But I believe they serve a greater master still. Elders. Oh, yeah, it's time for an ad break. Hold on. Let's do an ad break because it's time. It tells me to. All right, we're going to do one real quick. And then I'm going, we'll be back, get some water, get some stretching. We'll be right back in a second. We'll continue our conversation with Lazel. It's an ad break time. Get stretching, get water, get.
Hooray. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome back. Vernon, thank you so much for the sub. My friend with Prime, that means the world to me. That is far too kind. You don't have to do that stuff. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate everybody who's sitting through the ads. Look, I know it's a pain in the ass sometimes, but look, it it, it is a reminder to like get up and stand up and to chill. Like, I don't take care of myself. I just don't. I don't get the rest that I need. I don't drink enough water. Carlux dancing in the background. Um... <laughs> And, like, I don't take it myself, so I use that as a, as a means to, like, hey, I need to get up. I need to get moving. So I appreciate y'all with your patience through that stuff. Let's continue talking. And thank you for this up again, Vernon. That is so kind. And don't be a stranger, man. I miss I miss seeing you, man. You're such a such a uh, breath of fresh air. Um, I hope that you have been having a good time. I hope you've been talking to Key. Key, by the way, is doing fantastic. Keep him really busy and getting lots of stuff done. And I hope you've, you've heard from Key. She's doing great. Um, let's see. Elders... Doesn't sound like something I want to encounter. An elder brain. It lives without body, without armor, save the brine pool it inhabits. The brine pool it inhabits. To one apart is a gift Yankee's great pleasure. To die to its mind blast, a gift Yankee's dread. Many would nigh lose their minds just to near one. Even, well, most would and have. All right. What on earth are you wearing on your head? <gasps> We're wearing devil foil masks. And so here's how it works. When within 20 meters of another creature wearing a Maragon's mask, strength increases by one and intelligence, wisdom, and charisma decrease by one per nearby mask. And I was like, ooh, kind of wish I got the 16 gigabyte model of this Mac mini so I can get this game on it since I don't take my full gaming PC around with me. Ooh, so far, that'd be fun. Maybe I can just reinvest into another ROG ally eventually. Oh, what is that? What is an ROG ally? What does that mean? Help me, inform me. What is this ROG ally you speak of? Where is everybody? There we go. Republic of Gamers by Asus. Oh! Okay, fun! Welcome to the League of the Lone Eye, my friend. Not to minimize the pain of Volo's poking and pushing, <laughs> but I promise, 
You'll be used to the prosthesis in no time. That's fine, I got my cool baby mask. I find it gives one an air of mystique. No one's more intriguing than a man with one eye. It's basically a portable PC, but can be played like a Nintendo Switch. That's really cool. Alright. How'd you become the Blade Frontiers? My father once said, One does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. <laughs> As a baby with horns. I was hunting near the cloakwood. I heard a child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His <laughs> mother's corpse bled into the soil face. next to him. I don't remember much of the battle. But I remember drying the boy's tears after. We all have the same stupid face. Goblins, brr, 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 and easy to kill, hardly worth getting worked up about. Oh, sorry. And he named you the Blade of Frontiers, but I could be finer than saving a life. He must have felt proud. Proud? No. Angry. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Angry at the so called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. <laughs> I Angry can't take you seriously with that. So <laughs> to see the coast suffering. Just a little the smirk. Demanded a blade. And so I heeded. The little smirk does it. It's nice to finally put a face to the name. And it's nice to meet someone of your talents. Having a worm wriggling in my skull didn't instill much confidence in the days ahead. With you as my ally, the future looks a little less daunting. Aw, thanks, Will. You're so sweet. Chatterheart, I got some stuff for you. Is going to be on his last gasp unless someone digs him out. Though not necessarily our concern, of course. I want to talk about your shower worship. I'm sure you do, but please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. Situation: No problems with shower worshippers, if that's what concerns you. You should trust me. We're all in the same boat after all. Let's see. Yeah, friends. in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah. Mistress of the night and lady of lost. Yes. I assume you've heard of her? No. Um, I've heard Shah worshippers are vilified by many forbidden already in parts. She doesn't sound very appealing going by her titles. Honestly, your faith is your own concern. I won't judge you one way or the other. Curious. Most are afraid of my lady. I don't care. I think I did well by joining you. Most agreeable company. I judge you. I, uh, no, I, that's why I just kill it right out, right, right at the beginning. You wish to speak? <laughs> it's like, well, bye. Found the stronghold in the Underdark you mentioned, a place called Grim Forge. Impressive. Most would quake at the mere thought of delving that far into the Underdark. What did you find? Absolute followers? Hmm. Keep looking. If they're present, then it's likely there's a route to Moonrise somewhere. It may prove impossible to avoid the Shadow Curse entirely, but if you find any way to limit your exposure... Seize it! Seize the day! Cool. Alright. How's it going, dead dude? Did I talk to everybody? I think I did. Mysterian Karlak, yeah. Alright, then let's sleep. But man, for five ninety nine, this Mac Mini is great, and I'm a Windows person. 4K, PS2, GameCube, and PSP games. Ooh, nice! Fred Ray says, something funny happened to me the other day in Baldur's Gate 3. You know how when you jump, the AI companions follow? Yes, but they don't always. They don't always. Okay, what's up, buddy? Oh, you think about your girl? Did they not follow? Because Fried Rice was in a situation where I jumped and I couldn't jump back. Because we had the high ground, so it was easier to jump down, but we couldn't jump back up. Ah, oh, Mistra, the patron ma of magic herself. The matron. An ambitious desire indeed to hold her in your hands. Oh. My. You startled me. 
I, uh... It's miles away. <gasps> Carl, like, jumped short and went straight down. No fried rice! Oh, that'd be sad. Care to tell me why you're conjuring an image of the goddess? For the seldom purpose of prayer. Mistra commands all magic. Salvation, if such a thing exists, is hers to bestow or withhold. And yet even now, more than I fear losing my own self and soul, I fear losing my command of her art. Magic is... my life. I've been in touch with the weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. All right, Gail. Is it the same for you? Uh, magic's music, poetry, and beauty, although I suspect you and I perform it differently. I practice magic, not melodrama. <laughs> Fair enough. Though in the end, we're still playing the same composition. Perhaps I can show you what I mean by reaching into the weave together. Are you flirting with me? By all means, let's follow my lead. Oh no, he's flirting with me. No, 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 Gail. No, 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 no. No, Gail. We're not getting it on. I said no. I said no last time, Gail, and I meant it. <laughs> I meant it, Gail. Now you. Okay. <laughs> Imitate the gesture with ease. I'm a bard. Woo! <laughs> Gil doesn't have a mask. He's not in the party. And also, we're a familiar feeling. It's nighttime, like so we're chilling. Word and a kind touch at the same time. Ooh. It's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athran Mistraril Kantrak Eo. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> That's funny. An easy incantation. Simply repeat after Gao. Bard performance. Belt the words with a little flourish on Ao. Ao! Friends. That wasn't the magic he was talking about. Yeah, exactly. 11 11! It's a conspiracy theory. It's all against us. Ah, oh, yes. The scent of rose water and a sense of well being. A sliver of weed. Was it freshly cut grass? Very good. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony. As true as you can. Okay. Harmony comes easily to you. A lot of wash over your mind of magic, yeah. Because I'm a bard, baby. I am wearing. No, I'm not wearing Shadow Hearts outfit. I am wearing uh, the Dark Elf Lady, the Drow Lady's outfit. <laughs> We're in her clothes. My nipples are poking out the side. Sense the unmistakable presence of Mistra, the Lady of Mysteries. There's something like the anticipation of a kiss, then the pleasure of being cloaked. No, in no, safe. no. In the cup of I didn't. Hand. I didn't say. It. I didn't say you could. <laughs> you did it. You're channeling the weave. How does it feel? Incredible, though of course I could have managed it by myself. You're hard to please, aren't you? Shut it, Gale. I know you want I know you want this body, but you didn't get it. Feels intimate. It's a good night for intimacy. You're in no mood to be so close to Gale. Release your grasp on the weave. The weave no. 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 No, Gale. Oh. There it goes. How easily things slip away from us. No matter how hard they were in the obtaining. No, Gale. Tonight, I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. Gale? No, I'm not doing it. Not you, Gale. Look, Asterian? Maybe. If he, if he... If things were lubricated in more ways than one. But not you, Gale. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, we're going to sleep. Everybody's good. We're all good.
I have so many supplies. Gale disapproves of us sleeping? What would what, what do you disapprove of Gale? That I sleep with my clothes on? Is that yeah, I'm I'm onto you, Gale. Okay. I I don't approve of you. How's that? How's that, Gale? I don't approve of you and your weird magic. Your creepy sex magic. It's not cool. <laughs> it's not cool, Gale. Alright, so we're all boned up and ready to go. If only you had a mask on for that cutscene. I know, right? If only. Alright. Um. Ooh. Canticles of the Dark Mistress. I didn't see that. Let's go break this up. The shadow fall where the light doth creep and silence close the, cloak the din. Let blackness into lost hearts seep and bid our lady in. Behold Shar who shades our path. Behold Shar from Owl born. Behold Shar the primal dark or goddess of night. Behold. Oh no, Fried Race has got a clip. Hold on, we gotta see this. I gotta see this. Let me see. Hold on. I'm just watching this just for my own personal pleasure. Sorry. No. No. <laughs> no. I didn't. No, Gale. Bad Gale. Bad. There we go. Thank you. Gale's crossing those lines. Because I even told him. I even told him. Uh-uh. Not interested, Gale. And he keeps pushing it. Not okay, Gale. Not okay. I said no. No means no, Gale. No means no. Okay, so we're... Done in this area here. We'd already been down below. All right, so we can we did up here, right? Yeah, we did up here. We saw the blood trail, so we got to go this way now. And we're saving, of course. Load of dwarf dung. If you ask me, not turning my back on. Lodiger. What? What now? What are you saying? Dude? Oh, they're talking below me. That's why I was like, Who, what is that subtitle for? Who's saying what now? Oh, Gale. What are we going to do with you, buddy? Oh, now that that now that fried rice has told me of this jumping fiasco, I'm terrified. I'm terrified now of jumping. Are we back? Where are we right now? No, we're not back. Napa Moonhaven. Oh. This war map offers a detailed plan to attack the village of Moonhaven, encouraging soldiers to kill in merciless silence. Oh. Large base. Oh, hello. The scimitar mold. Yes. Send it back. It should line up here. And where is there? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me jump there. Wow. Um, do you think that Mei Chan can reach that far? I think it can. I think we can. It only happened once. All it takes is once. All it takes is once. Let's jump here. 
here. This is quite the place, man. This is wild. Uh, hold on. Carlac? Oh, Carlac, come on, Carlac. You can make that jump. You can make that jump, Carlac. You're killing me, Carlac. You're the barbarian. You can jump really far. Oh, and that's a longsword mold. Didn't get that. And these things have stayed interesting. Swift as my feet can carry me. You sure we can trust them? Shit. Oh, jerk, just sits at your helm. While obscured by shadow, the wearer gains plus one to saving throws when attacked. Oh, fun. Interessante. Yeah, now we can reach that. Perfect. Can you guys get over here? The pride of the gate. What a charmer. I'm saving because I feel like it's gonna like fall out from underneath us. Okay. We can totally use Mage Hand there. How's the angle of the dangle? <laughs> hey, Wookie, how's it going, dude? The angle of the dangle is quite the quadrangle. There we go. Still breathing, despite everything. Path is interrupted. Shit. Do I have to be up? Do we have to be up? We might have to be up. Hold on. No, 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 no. We just need to be in the other direction. Like she can get up there, right? Anyone can join me? No one's gonna join me? Mysterian, how about you? Can you join me? No. Well. The pride of the gate. Will can. Oh, because I have everybody as individuals right now. There we go. Come on, Asterian. Yes, Philby. Okay, everybody's here. Whole gang is here. I saw you hanging there. Oh, man. Yeah. Hello. Coming in from the other side. Right? You haven't been in here yet. Can I jump down? I feel like this is the, oh I can I can I think I can j safely jump down right here. Yeah, yeah, we can safely jump down here. We got all the molds. Um, here, take these molds. Find everybody, guys. No one's gonna jump down here. Touch me. Watch your back. Carlac, Carlac, why are you scared to jump now? What's going on? Let's get going. Carlac is scared to jump. Dusty book. Praise be to the Lady of Loss. She has through sister Ansar, but taught. Brother Siluv, the true nature of our lives, that they are loss and nothing but loss. With that sorrowful lesson, he has turned from his fame and following and came, come to us into the lady's loving embrace, but he has not left everything behind. The man once known as Siluv Yali brings with him his miracles of metallurgy. This dark ally, Adamantine, will let us spread the dark lady's will with new fervor. I've got some Adamantine. So out of the retro PC games you have been doing, do you have a favorite one so far? I mean, Star Fox Rain, I have played a million. So, 
I mean, I'm loving Redguard a heck of a lot. Um, I love Mercenary and the 3DO. I love all the Sierra Adventure games. I love them more than I do the LucasArts, except for... I love Full Throttle. I love... Uh, I love uh, Full Throttle. I love Grim Fandango. And I love Loom. And I'm like, the other ones are okay. I'm not watching Redguard for sure. Well, tomorrow we'll be continuing Redguard, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I love I love everything, man. Come on now. You know I love everything. Mullum Skip by Shadow. The player deals one to four necrotic damage to attackers that hit them with a melee attack. Oh god. I'll take it. Grim Van Nagel's a classic. My favorite is Coast Glory 4, Bar None, Nate Wilkie. Mmm. Mmm Yes. It's my favorite Quest for Glory game, and Quest for Glory is my favorite series from Sierra. Without question. It's so good. It's so good and so emotional. Because it does it does things perfectly, right? It captures exactly what makes Quest for Glory magical. The, the magic that Quest for Glory 1 has. This feeling of like a very intimate story. It's very intimate. Um, but then it also adds to it. Oh shit, what are we fighting? Animated armor, where? Where? Where are our dudes? I don't see them. Oh, they're up there. Oh, shit. Alright. Philby, can you get up there, buddy? No. Okay. Skin low, medium. Alright, let's see what we can do. Can I get there? High defense, low ground. Where are the other ones? Oh, they're on the other side. Oh, I see. Ooh, tricky. Tricky little hobbits. Got a crit! Yes! The character development in 4 is the second best of the series. And also, yeah, Nabuki, the characters, full of personality, full of life, and full of this need, like, you connect with them and you see them grow and change over time and, and come to like accept you as a hero but also it raises those stakes that they're supposed to do that the Coles intended to do throughout the whole entire series it raises the stakes in such a perfect way it feels so great Burgermeister is my favorite mm -hmm. and also I love the Gravedigger ha! little graveyard humor there I love the gra Gravedigger I love Punny Bones um I love all of it and like as a kid I always wanted to see Arana. And I remember in Quest for Glory 2, um, because like, remember Quest for Glory 1, they talk about Arana's garden and Arana being this big hero, this big, you know, this magic user that is just paramount. Then in Quest for Glory 2, in the the wizarding test, like, we haven't heard from her. And, like, finally getting to, like, hear her in some way was huge. And I was like, oh my god, there she is. Like, this is it. It was all worth it. Okay, what can I what can I get away with here? What can I get away with here? Oh, there's a bunch of them. Um, okay, so this guy, high defense, 58. Okay, let's do it. 58. 21 points of damage. He goes from hating to be super impressed. Exactly. It's this one. This feeling of like um. When you, uh, you know, in Quest for Glory 1, everyone's like, ah, you're a healer, a hero, hooray, great, you know, great and all, but, uh, did I get him? I didn't knock his ass out, though. Uh, well, Quest for Glory 4 is the same kind of way, but they treat you with, like, open hostility. I always have problems with that era. Let's see, with what era? Grim Fandango is a classic. It is. It's really good. I love Grim Fandango. It's such a great game. Behold, the, fool of fools. <laughs> the fool of fools. All right. Let's jump. Wee. I'm sorry, dude. This is gonna be your end. Hold on, can I pick him up? Okay, let's, 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 oh, I can't rage, can I rage? I don't have a bonus section. I can't rage right now. That's on me, I shouldn't have jumped. Um, 
he's not gonna hit, so let's just go for another. Philby. Oh, you can't, um... Summon the best boy Scratch's keen nose can discover many things hit. I didn't realize I could get Scratch. What? I can summon Scratch? Um... Let's just, let's just hit. Let's just go for a hit. You can do this, buddy. No, you cannot. Alright. Time for a new Shit. Alright. Let's just take this dude out. Dead. Thirty percent. Forty percent. Let's just try to get this guy knocked down then. I missed both times. Leave Philby alone. Leave Philby alone. Oh shit! Carlac saved me. <laughs> oh, she mad now. Now you, now you did it. Now you did it. She gonna kill some people now. That's fine. Still dead. Favors the fearless. Ah, stop missing, dude. I know it's far away, but. Carlax coming for you. Carlax? Come in for ya. Are you ready? Are you ready? She's gonna pick you up. Oh, already targeted? Target's too far? Pass interrupted. Path interrupted? No, no, no. Kind of blocked. What? No. No, 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 no. We can throw his ass. We can throw his ass out. Yeah, throw his ass out. Peace, asshole. Um, okay, I guess I'll just range his ass. I can't reach him. Grim Fandango kind of missed because I was low key boycotting 3D. I get it. I do. I do. I get it. I understand. I understand that that feeling. Can I get him? I can. Let's do lucky. Dead. Let's save our boy. But it, no, Grim is fantastic. It's a it's a great merge of just art in general. It's absolutely stellar. Everyone should play that game. It's really, really good. But I understand. I understand, especially being like an adventure game fan in that time, worrying that like, oh, this stuff I love is going to be replaced, you know? Animated armor, you got nothing good. Scale mold, thank you. The cash were often bad on a lot of the games of that era. Dark just is your mask, intimidation plus one. Ooh. That's fun. Um And and you're right, like the, this and there's a thing though, right, with Grim Fandango, movement in 3D, not the most intuitive. It's not. It's the tank controls and stuff like this. Like, it could be better. It could be better. Oh, here. Oh, I'm 
Kill beat buddy. I gotta find out like what's the heaviest things and just like not give them to you. You're not the strongest, I know. There we go. Okay. Torches. Skeletons. Oh, we're still going down. We're going deeper. Wait, did we explore this place fully? I don't know if we did or not. We did not. Oh, there's down there something big. Down there is something big. We didn't go up here. Oh, there's just so much. There's just so much. Yeah, let's let's keep exploring. All this lava. The splint mold for heavy. Oh no, we're gonna get in another fight here. Like I feel like these skeletons are gonna come alive. Misty step. Ooh, scribbled note. Must find new sources. Nearby mithril veins are near depletion, and the quantities required for Brother Silu's most recent project were considerable. Some of the acolytes have taken to calling it grim for the place it was made, though never within Brother Silo's hearing. This is his work, that's for sure. Oh, that wrong button. Yes, please. Forge construction log. Oh, Philby gets flustered today in the episode of Baldur's Gate. I know. Oh, dude. Today in Baldur's Gate 3, Philby feels uncomfortable and has to talk to the party's HR department. The big thing I figured it out second time through. Friend race, what big thing? Oh, yes. The forge is functional, but operating at a scant one third of its full potential. At current fractalize okay, yeah, okay. Test on successful, so hot. Yeah, okay, good. I don't need I don't need to read your your magna nonsense. Looking ahead. Okay. Yeah, it's giving us a view into there. Like I love that they do sight lines with things, right? You move into this position, you can see a little better at some other things, and you get access to more visions. your blade in the fires and raise it in the mistress's name. Cool. All right, so if I go down here, oh, that just takes it down here. Okay, let's take a look. There's something under. Oh, it's, oh that's where he fell. He didn't go into the lava, he fell right down here. Oh, excellent. I'm glad he didn't didn't go into the lava and melt. Oh! Mithril fit. Oh my god. That's F oh shit, that is F6, F5. Is that gonna hurt? Everyone's fine. We're not all burning alive. That's fantastic. Oh, oh, Will did. Will, what'd you do, buddy? Oh God, someone help Will. He's he's like actively, actively dying here. Will, where's Will? Shit. Will, get your ass up, buddy. Well, get, get your ass out of there. Okay, hold on. Save Will. Save Will, please. Uh, hold on. Can I pick him up? Uh, pick his ass up. Throw? No? Shit, we killed Will. I'd like to throw him, please. Oh, 
Okay, we gotta load, because I didn't mean to fucking kill Will. Jeez! Sorry, Will. Sorry, buddy. Where are we at? 21 minutes until the pre-roll is off. Man, I wonder. I wonder. When they get into, like, this, like, crafting these weapons and stuff like this, they kind of allude to these things, I'm like, ooh. And, like, the, the one, the, the, the big weapons being, like, Susser Bark or something that you need to get, I'm like, oh, what is, what is going on here? And, like, having to forge these things, what, what's the process that's going to do this? It seems so different than what we kind of experience in general in this game. Oh, that looks like Thomas Cole. Who does? That load screen. Oh, the, oh, the art? Turn it to base. Turn it to turn base. You don't need to load. Oh. I loaded already. My favorite artist is Thomas Cole. Interesting. Sorry, Fried Rice. It should have. You're right. I wanted to pick him up and throw him out of, out of harm's way, but apparently I couldn't do that. The river Chianthar flows from Iriobor all the way to Baldur's Gate. Did you know this? Did you know that you know the river Chianthar flows from Iriobor all the way to Baldur's Gate? I bet you didn't. I'm kind of an expert at, you know, Baldurian geology. And everybody knows that. Come on. He had a series of paintings called The Course of Empire. It's amazing. Interesting. I was gonna say maybe I should just let Philby go over there and get it, because he can he can break it and take it. There's no need to have everybody come over. I will discord it. I will happily have it discorded. And speaking of which, self-promotion time. Listen folks, if you've never been, I know everyone has a million discords, right? But this is an enjoyable one. We have a great group of people that are really kind, considerate, no gatekeeping, no like you're not some weird outsider. Everybody's incredibly welcoming. That's just how we do things. Uh, if you're interested, there's a link below there. You can follow it. It's really fantastic. I love that. I love everybody there. It's been such a joy. I lost my Infernal Legion. Is there more to see? Oh, I feel like there is. Phil, are you doing okay, buddy? Why are you feeling? Why are you getting overburdened now? Explodes! Me thrill! Alright, let's see. What am I getting rid of here? What do I have my in what is it full in my inventory here? What is like the heavy oh, let's look by weight. Let's sort by weight. What's the heaviest thing for Philby? Oh yeah, these guys are heavy. Ten each? Yeah, let's just send them over to Carlac, you got some stuff to carry now, my dear. If he dies completely, Carlac can stick him in her backpack. I couldn't... Oh, I see. If he dies completely, she could stick him in the backpack. This is this is true. I could also do that. Oh, I didn't... Oh, survival fail. Okay, so there's something to dig here. Let's get our shovel. There it is. Close enough. When the survival check fails, you just dig manually. Like it's just a hand crossbow. Talking about old games, you know what we need now? A new Rygar. Yeah, because like the last one was what PlayStation Two. PlayStation Two had a Rygar, and that's about as far as it went. From there, sadly, it's wild that, that the PlayStation Two got a Rygar though. Rygar was good times, man, for sure, without question. Ready to burst. Oh shit, we need to get out of here, guys. Everyone together. Let's get out of here. Things are about to burst. Because they're about to burst. Da, 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 da. My name is Philby and I'm, I'm about to burst. Okay. Um. Well, let's... There we go. That's a good heal, Philby. 
Rutgers good stuff, man. There's a lot of good stuff uh, from like the old olden days, the games of old. And I wish we had more of. I'm kind of stuck here now, so it's okay. We gotta go here now. The plaque. We're at the forge. It's time. Centuries of blazing heat have smoothed away the plaque's inscription. Oh, nothing could go wrong here, right? Everything's fine. Oh, I feel so doomed. Oh, I'm prone. Shit. Whoops. Come on, guys. Don't do what I did, though. Or or do it. That's fine, too. Carlac. What's so fun is that, like, yeah, uh, Star Fox, and part of me wants to revisit a lot of those older games that were the attempt at rebooting these franchises. So, like, for instance, um, the Elder Beast game and the Golden Axe game, stuff like this that they, they brought back. I don't see why not. Oh, shit. Magma Mephit. Come on. He needs a living to save your little lucky. He saved at least in the fire breath. Karlak's gonna come in in just one big sweep. Can we? Oh, just take the hit. Shit. Oh my god, guys. Please. Fire breath. Don't don't die, Philby. Oh god. Okay. Oh shit. Um. You wanna you wanna bite him? You can't target little metal shit. All right. Let's just fucking attack. Dead. Almost dead. So much for peace. Okay. Dead. Fuck all of you. Okay. Hold on. Step back, Philby. No, you son of a bitch. Oh, okay. Karlak, kill. Don't I have another feature where I can attack one for once more? I guess we'll just rage. Fucking rage, Scarlack! She's pissed you killed her boo. This is my time. Oh shit. Um Yeah, well I'll take the I'll take the hit. Hellish Rebuke. Fuck you. Oh, that's right, because they're Well shit. That's fine. One Two. Oh shit, they're still alive. Well, damn. Oh, this is a bad idea. Alright. Alright, dude. Oh, advantage. We got advantage. Oh shit, we got advantage, boys. Kill. Yeah. Get fucked, elementals. I should have picked him up and thrown him. Can I get another here? No, I cannot. Okay. One, two. Please die. Pass interrupted. Never mind. Dead. All right. 
steps at a time. Poor Philby. Yeah, fly over to me. Fly over to Carlac. As if that's gonna save your ass. We'll do it my way. Whew, baby. Someone help Carlac out. You good, Carlac? Everybody okay? Two steps at a time. Heart shaped rock. Let's do a short rest. Let's do a short rest. Uh, yeah. And okay. There's so many of these dead things. Whew. Man. That was a lot. That was a lot. That was terrifying. Guys, don't go into the lava, please. For the love of God, don't go into the damn lava. I have so many scrolls who I don't use, ever. Like, it's my fault. I only have myself to blame. <laughs> I only have myself to blame. I'll take it. Oops. Fire resistance, yes. And then read the registry, and then get more mythical. Registry of proud followers recruited by her loyal paladin, Catherick Thorm. Pages upon pages of names fill this book. Some are only nicknames. Others consist of multiple noble titles. All of them are scratched out and annotated with no longer. Oh, shit, man. That sucks. Mantine Forge, oh god. There's something big is gonna come at the crucible. Like, oh, this is all going horribly wrong. Nothing good can come of this. Are you coming, guys? No, 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 no. I'm going this way. There we go. Mold injection lever. Okay. But we need to put the molds in. Right? Where do we put the molds? Forge lever. Let's save. Um, oh, there's the mold chamber. Okay. Alright. What mold am I putting in? Uh, let's look at mold. Scimitar mold, splint, heavy splint mold, shield mold. Um, longsword mold, right? We'll do that. Just need the raw materials. Okay. Now, what do I do with the raw with the crucible? The mithril. Mithril. Mithral. Sorry. Mithral. Uh, just one. Please, can I split this? Oh, shit. Split.
Okay. Did it? Down it goes. Okay. Platform control. Oh no, that just puts us up. I don't want to go up. Okay. Lava to bind them. Okay. Lava valve. Everybody stand back. Oh god. <laughs> the baby face. Oh, I love the baby face so much. Oh, you love just a little baby bot. I go hide nobody. Oh no, fuck you. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Put up just a baby pod. Don't mind me. Well, we are now, as they would say, proverbially, proverbially fucked. Okay. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. All right. <clears throat> Jesus. You know what? We have five minutes for an ant supposed to be rolling. Let's roll that now before we get into this, because I need to blow my nose, and I need to get some more water. Um, let's run this ant. So we'll be back in just three minutes. I'm going to go. I know this is a really great time. It's a great fight, but I'm going to be right back. I need to blow my nose, and I need to go get some, get some water. I'll be right back. That time. Wee Doink.
we're back. I was looking at this thing and I was like, oh my god. 300 hit points. Oh boy. Like, can I push it away? If I do that, can I get him? Oh, and I'm going to push another folks though. Shit, doesn't it whispers? Does that work? It technically does. Oh my god. What am I going to do? It sounds like child's play for Philby. I know, right? Conjure a cloud of spinning daggers that attacks anyone inside it. Ooh, um, hypnotic pattern. Hypnotic creature that can see the pattern. They cannot attack you. They cannot move or act. Does it work on him? Ooh, it could. I get a 50% chance. They cannot move or act. Yeah, let's hypnotize this asshole. It affected everyone. Well, fuck me. I just hypnotized the whole party, apparently. Well, fuck. Um... Asterion, can you jump away? Jump this way. No, 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 buddy. Yeah. You don't have to be there. You don't have to be there to jump. Okay. There. Jump behind him. I got advantage. Oh, let's stab this motherfucker. Prime target. I only did a couple points of damage. Little shit. Okay. Jump away! Run away! Alright, Carlac. -like. Rage, baby. No time better than now. Okay. So, if I, I can reach him. High defense. Um, can we lacerate? Let's lacerate. Yeah, make him bleed. Right? Nope. God damn it. He's immune to bleeding. Oh shit. Alright. Never mind. Okay. What are we gonna do? Arms of Adar targets cafeteria necrotic. Uh, I don't think he is—he's not gonna get hurt by necrotic. Um, Fireball, no, he's—he's he's superheated, right? Oh shit! What do I do? Ray of Fear. I think he's immune to fear. He's a robot. I just do. Good old fashioned. Threat assessment. Oh shit. Shit, we didn't have to fight him. We didn't have to fight him, did we? Come attack this target if possible. We didn't have to fight him, did we? I'll just get over here. Awaken, yeah, see? We didn't have to do any of this. You've done more damage to yourself than the guy did. I quiet you. You're right, but quiet. <laughs> I can't. I can't hurt anyone. Kralak. Get get healed. He can't. Oh shit. All right. I wanna bite him. Can't do constructs, okay? Uh. Can I piercing strike? Flourish. Off balance. Okay, so let's just, uh, just do a hit. And then let's do off balance. We roll. Crit! You'll love to see it. Okay, can I pick his ass up? No. <laughs> Alright. Let's just hit, hit, hit. Alright, so. I can't do that one yet. Right. Why can't I? Right. I got advantage though. Bam! 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 <laughs> this is an interesting combat. I know. Uh, this has been true entertainment from the moment you turned the lava on. I'm sorry, fried rice. <laughs> I'm sorry. Crit. 
critical miss and a critical hit. Oh yeah. Slam Lesterian. Oh, you son of a bitch. The lava has escaped. Okay. The lava has rece receded. I was gonna say, like, can I can I open it now? I'm burning targets. Oh. And Philby. He's superheated. He's not burning. Philby, you dummy. Best be on my way. Okay. This feels good. All right. Disengage as a bonus action, right? I oh, missed. Shit. <laughs> All right, Carlac, just keep wailing. <gasps> Reckless attack. Yes. Oh shit. Reckless attack is a bad idea. Come on, Carlac! You beautiful, 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 beautiful lady. All right. I mean, like, he's got how much? It's so much. The thing you're making is produced in the mold. Oh, it's produced in the mold? Okay. So I gotta go to the mold for... Yeah, I'm getting that. Philby's gonna go get it, of course. I, I don't know what to do. Alright, um... Just go, just go rip. That's fine. Because he's going to get the threat assessment, so the thing's coming for him now. Seismic Wrath. Oh no, Carlac. Where's he going? I'll, I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. Critical miss and a miss. Come on, Will. My feet. Seems to be stuck. Stuck? It's stuck. You're to. to... Why is it stuck? Gonna have to. Oh, what's, what's the damage on this thing? 5 to 17, 4 to 9 is what it is. I need to disengage. And then. Hope for a good shot. Critical mass. I'm playing on the normal difficulty right now, so that's just what I got. Okay, uh, Carly can't get to him in time. I don't know if so she's gonna have to jump. Alright. Ruggles attack, baby! Ah, still miss. Shit, Carlac, don't die. Save, good save, Carlac. Don't die, though. Just stay alive. We've almost got him. We've almost got him. He's halfway dead, but he's. We've almost got him. Um. Ah, oh, that's not a good idea. That's not a good idea. No, no, fireball's not a good idea right now, Will. What are you thinking, buddy? Push the speed. Alright, uh, none of those things are gonna help you, Will. I 
this is Warlock Features. Let's see, Pact of the Blade. Yeah, let's do that. He needs uh big beer. Get in there, Will. Get in there, Will. So I can't get that open yet. Is what that's trying to tell me. It only get sword five. It was a level three. It was level three. Speak to animals. Um. Okay. So. Dissonant Whispers? What do we got for Dissonant Whispers? 50%? Oh shit, no, no, no. I don't think any of that's gonna work the way it's supposed to. The way it's intended. Zero, zero? Immune to piercing damage, that's why. Fuck. Like Q. Why? I mean, it's slashing damage now. What the fuck? What happened? Shit. I throw his ass. Oh, because he's hardened now because of the fucking lack of lava. Shit, we gotta, we gotta... Oh, no way. No way. Fuck. We gotta get him hot. Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning. No way. Oh, guys, you gotta, you gotta get out of there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Does it immediately open? It does. Shit. No. Okay, it doesn't yet. That's good. Get your ass out of the will. I mean, since they're all dead over there. Fireball! It didn't... It didn't do anything. Shit. You want to see two cyborgs going at it? Okay, I'm learning so much right now. Okay. Time for a new no, that didn't work. Shit, Sarian, dude, what are you doing, buddy? Okay. This is your lot in life now. Okay, so I, I learned I learned some things. He, we have to keep the heat going, or else he's doomed. So what does this thing do? Hold on. So if I shoot this, what does this do? What is it? Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning. It's a process. That's a death. That's a TDK. TDK? Is it was on Team Death Kill? Team Total Death? Wait, was it? What is it? Uh, uh Murder Death Kill? <laughs> don't know. I don't know. I'm getting wrecked, is what I know. I'm getting wrecked, is what I know. Folks, let me take a second here. If you're new to the stream, hi, I'm Focus Meat Factory. I play a little bit of everything. A lover of games from over 35 years now. 
And I love talking about games. I love listening to people talk about games, enthusiasm, and just letting people just share their loving experience of games and create that kind of couch feeling when you're a kid. If you enjoy the stream, I highly recommend giving me a follow if you like the stream. You don't have to. But I love having new folks to talk to. I love listening to new folks' perspective on games, and I love just getting to know them. So if you like us, give us a follow. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. I love games in general. It's true, Nate Wookie. It's true. It's so true. Okay. So I know what's coming, at least. Right? So let's get that long sword one. We have the long sword mold. Because that's for my boy Philby. It was an overkill. I know. I was so screwed. Be here or be square. Exactly. Thank you. Uh, let's split item. Okay. Insert. Okay. Force lever. I'm terrified. We're gonna we're gonna get Philby back to full health. Before this whole thing starts, but Want some ra? Want some ra? Of course you do. Alright, so I want to know what this stuff is. What is... It's lava, of course it's lava. Well, like, we could attack these things, and I want to know why. What is the point of this? Why would we attack these things? Saving. Carlac. Smash. Arcane machinery pipes. No. I wonder if we give her the bash and the bash and grab. I'm curious. No. Okay. Just making sure. Just making sure. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, let's get Philby back to full. Philby, you, you okay, buddy? Yeah, I'm good. Are you really good, though? No, I'm not. Okay. Take your potion, buddy. Fuck you. Who, I, no, I wanted Philby to take the goddamn potion, not Carlac. That's Carlac, so she took the potion. Damn it! That was a waste of potion. A greater healing potion. We're not doing that. Also, for those who've never met me before, I'm also a complete and utter idiot. And I suck at video games. <laughs> but that's okay. I love video games, but I'm not... I didn't say I was good at them. Ooh. You take a long rest yet? I did. You're just fine. I know. Um, I did take a long rest. Yes, fried rice. So, like, we're pretty prepped. Maybe I'll just do a short rest, considering that we're here, right? And Philby will be back to full health, and then just make sure that everything is kind of reset. Maybe that'll be the way to go. Maybe we'll just do a short rest. Uh, yeah. Alright. I'm getting terrified. Hold on. So, hold up. Okay. Here I thought. Philby, you're going this way, buddy. So if I do this per battle, okay, so I can't do it until then. All right. Okay, let's let's, let's see how this goes. I 
Will and his baby face. It's so cute. I thought it was just going to be easy like that, but of course, what was I thinking? There's a big open space. Of course there's going to be a combat here. Angry lava. Hey, Will. You fucked up. <laughs> Will, you fucked up, buddy. You're, you're dead now. Alright. If I do this... During that time... Is that the right thing to do? It is! That's what I thought I was good. Yes, Adamantine Longsword. Craft an item in the Adamantine Forge. I love it. Okay. Now get sneaky. Philby. Get that Adamantine Longsword, buddy. Equip the Adamantine Longsword. Where is it? Where's the sword? Two to eleven. Yep. Diamond's bane. If an adamantine weapon hits an object, the hit is always critical. What? So it ignores resistance to slashing damage. So always do damage. Oh. Is it two-handed? Why is it two-handed for Philby? What do you? Is it? I thought it was just one hit. It's a long sword. It's versatile. Yes, Philby. Survival is all that matters. Why am I wielding with both hands? It's one hand, buddy. You don't need to wield with both hands. It's fine. I didn't... I didn't... No, I didn't want him to wield it with both hands. Maybe it's too heavy. Is that why? You know what? It's fine. Philby, you're fine. Strike. Okay, get in there. Get in there, buddy. Swift as my feet can carry me. This is my time. Okay. Um. Miss. Damn it. Rage, Karlak. Rage. Okay. Yes. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Let's have a little fun. Can I jump there? Not in the movement. Philby! Get your ass in there, Philby. Time to press ahead. It's attack again with that, so it's nice at least, but it's not doing it up he's not doing enough damage. Just fucking hammer away. I should have given made us something for her, man. <laughs> Just throwing insults at him. As if that's gonna help in any way. Wow, man, I just I wanna I want to actually hit him. Son of a bitch. He's still... Is he not burning anymore? Shit, he's not. God damn it. Okay. Stay there. Yeah, you're fine. I wonder if this is worth the cost. It is. I promise you it is. I 
ignores resistances. I mean, let's see if it does anything. Still missed. Damn it, Toby. What? It's just immune resistances. That's it for him, I guess. This is my happy place. Ruggles attack. Okay. We're fine, it's fine. That put him in the lava, that puts him in the lava. Oh no, the lava's gone! Oh, thank God. Okay. Is this 3 to 10? But I get an extra attack because of it. I should probably just stick to fucking... Can you get a little closer, my friend? My dude? There we go. <laughs> Time to push my luck again. Yeah, Philby, good luck with this, buddy. 35%. You can do this, though. I believe in you. Can you bardic inspiration yourself? No, it's only an ally. Oh. I mean, I guess I could do it while I'm here. into him. <laughs> okay. In his final moments, he pulled out his loot and played a song. Um, hold on. Can she get... Can she get a healing potion, please? Someone heal her. She's got a bunch. Drink. Do what you can, Karlak. Awaken. What is he awakening to? Another fight. Let's go. <laughs> Critical miss, Philby, you're so useless. Try. There we go. Okay, there we go. She's heating up. Um. And rage. Okay. Just hit him. Michael's attack! Nice miss, Karlak. Oh, he's he's invincible right now. Shit, isn't he? But I can still hit if I hit. What? I thought it. Miss! 
Good, 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 good. No one got hurt there. You look at 75! Come on, man! Not enough movement. Not enough movement. How much damage does this thing do? 2 to 11. Oh, fuck, man. Come on. Still miss every time, Philby. Come on, buddy. Is it too close? No, it's not. Okay, let's just let's go for it. Two shots does more damage. Let's just take that. She's hitting every time. Carlac, you're such a beast. She's staying sturdy though. 70% chance, come on. Thank you. Can't even catch my breath. There we go. Let's cook with fire, baby. Reckless attack. Shit. Halfway there. Don't be killing Carla. She's the only one that can do damage. Let's go. Not enough movement. Shit. Come on, dude. You can move there. You can move there. You have enough movement. You have enough movement. Philby, you have enough movement. Gotta get him there, man. I gotta pull that. Gotta get the wheel. Shit. Um, okay, so if I. He's got a thing on me. So the, uh, if I do that, it's an action. Fuck. Um. Speak to animals. I got scrolls for days. Ooh. Is it well what is it what does it do the same? At a target and possibly pull it in nearby objects and creatures, yeah. Let's see if it works. It just moved me. Son of a bitch. Yeah, he's got a lot of resistances. Adamantine skin. Nearly as indestructible. Only intense heat can soften the metal enough to be shaped, yes. So is he not in there? Like, can I give him a push? Too heavy to shove. Okay. Oh fuck. Well, fuck. Um, no, one percent. Oh, my God. Let's see. How am I going to get him in the lava right now? He's not in the lava currently. Um, Casting spells is blocked. 
Oh, fuck, man. What are we gonna do? Alright. No, not. I don't want that, dude. No. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta burn, dude. Is that gonna hurt him? Let's see. No. Chris is not gonna. There. Come at me, bro. Um. I've got an idea. Can he get? A, can he get on there? Oh, what if we get him on there and hit the hammer down? This is my time. Okay, so he's gonna be going after Philby. Right? Can I hold? It must be a humanoid. Blindness? No. <sighs> Mage hand. Oh my god, yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to disengage. Head this way. And also, can I heal? Let's have her heal. Let's heal our Karlak here. Okay. Oh, Philby's fucking dead. Damn it, Philby. Come here, you son of a bitch. The subtle approach. Oh, okay. Fuck you. Asshole. Get mad. This is my time. Oh shit. What? Why you need to you're, you're fine. You're fine. Stop this. arrow sorry Philby I'm sorry buddy right here just stand your ground no don't don't what are you no no damn it get back on here ah uh, okay mage hand is getting ready to do some dirty work. Get your ass over here. No! Why are you going? No! No! You get your ass. Mmm, you son of a bitch. You get your ass on that platform or so help me God. Okay. I'm just gonna hit it again. I've got this. Can she attack him from there? Without getting in the heat? Now step back. Okay, okay. No, no, we're fine. Uh, what if I do this? What if I hit the force lever? Is it gonna hit him? Oh, Karlak, I'm sorry! Why won't he get on the goddamn thing? Get on the force thing!
There we go! Yes! Oh my god, that was... Mmm. Mmm, that moment of realization. That moment of realization. Fuck, I got a giant-ass hammer. But at what cost? At the cost of everyone dead. <laughs> you would be both, Will. Damn! Holy shit! The light shines! The Grim Skull Helm. Attackers can't land critical hits on the. Oh my god. Everyone is dead. Perfect. Will's the only one alive right now. Hi, Carlac. How's it going? I want to put you all in my. Can I pick you up? I'm too. You're too heavy. I don't want to use all my scrolls. Do I? I got three. I got three dead people and three skulls of revivification. <sighs> I mean, I die a lot. I don't die a lot. Not anymore, at least. But holy crap. I'm mad that I don't know what's going on with Phil being this longsword being two-handed. But it's moving on to somebody who can actually wield it, not him, because... He's a POS. Sorry, Phil V, you are just the way you're, you're born. That's what I call a Peric victory. I did this my second time through. There's a book you'd read that tells you how to defeat the Forge Bot, but at the time, it didn't make much uh, sense. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I mean... Camp? Oh, look at... Oh, God. Look at Phil B. Look at him. Can we examine? He's all curled up in a ball. Philby, buddy. Everyone died in this process. Asterion sprawled. Spread eagle as he... He died the way he was born. Imagine a new Dragon Age in this style. Oh, man, yeah. For real. Well... I wonder if I... Yeah, let's go to the camp. Long rest. I cannot fast travel right now. Shit. Okay. It's flat as a pancake. Yep. She seemed to be pretty resilient, though. Her her tail may be through the floor, though. Alright, well, I guess I gotta use my scrolls, then, because I can't revive them, apparently, because I can't fast travel. Um... Alright, I don't want to use all my scrolls, though. Can I buy scrolls? Do we have scrolls that I can buy somewhere? Because I got a lot of gold. Cast the spell, Will. Target blocked. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Where's Philby then? Go revive Philby. Shit. Target is blocked. Target is not blocked. Thank you. I think it only fitting that Philby go and revive his girl. Not you, Will. I meant Philby. Your target is not blocked. Revive everybody, I guess. What path lies before me? You need to revive Philby, and then you can fast travel. Well, I'm already, I'm already, I'm already here. We've already got these guys all done. Let's just revive them all. Use all our scrolls. It's fine. How's it going? You're right, Asterius, Asterian. I can't see him. I suppose you want to hear about Casador. No. Not really. So, uh, let's hear it, I guess. My now that we're here. Master, <laughs> of all the we died, let's hear it. Of all this strange, twisted 
Oh, he's like, oh. He's a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. I see. This makes Not sense. political power or military power. I mean power over people. <laughs> Indeed, intense baby face. Returning nearly 200 years ago, I became his spawn, and he became my tormentor. How you turned? Did he attack you? Tormentor, what did he do? He had me go out into Baldur's Gate to fetch him the most beautiful souls I could find. Oh, the most beautiful. It was a fun little ritual of his. I'd bring them back, and he'd ask if I wanted to dine with him. And if I said yes, he'd serve me a dead, putrid rat. Of course, if I said no, he'd have me flayed. Hard to say which was worse. <laughs> it's so great with the masks. <laughs> You're free now, enjoy the freedom. Quit, quit the sob story, what's your point? Uh, that sounds terrible, I'm sorry. This isn't about sympathy. It's about knowing what we might be up against. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there. They're not even the only ones hunting us. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open and watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. I agree. I'll watch your back, don't worry. You keep me safe and I'll do the same. Oh no, my friend, if vampires come looking for you, you're on your own. What's more? What's up with the freaky masks? We need to make another one. Right, can we? We have more adamantine. We have another mold. We have another mold. Um... She can wear medium. Let's get a, a medium then mold and so that Carla can have some some stuff. Scamo, yeah. Oh, and we also have the we also have the the scrap too, like the we might be able to get something in there too from that. Everybody together. Can we all just... Did I break it? Um, one person at a time. Everybody, everybody on the platform, please. Everybody on the platform. Philby, go and turn the valve. Melting. Oh, the longsword thing was melting. That's funny. The mold came out. I didn't realize it did. And then we can do the, the forge lever? Scale mail. The slag uh, is too intended to be of any use. The slag is too small. Okay. Adamantine scale mail. Magical plate. All incoming damage reduced by one. When a melee attack hits you, the attacker is sent reeling for two turns. Disadvantage on stealth checks. Attackers can't land critical hits on the wearer. Yeah, uh, all yours, Carlac. Right, because she can wear this, right? Yes, yeah, she can. Looking cool, Carlac. Now, where's the helm I got? Where did that go? It was on... Oh, yeah. Will had it. Alright. The Atlanta Hunter's on the wear. Grants resistance to fire damage. And Hunter's Mark. What does Hunter's Mark do again? Mark a creature is required to land 1d6... Or 1d6 slashing damage whenever you hit it with a weapon attack. Okay. What's her thing do? Yeah, no, we're gonna put that on 
you. Oh, Carl, like you're looking so cool. Here, well, wear that, buddy. Let's take our stupid masks off. Considering we almost died that whole time, like almost complete disintegration, we should probably put our, our hats back on. Our fancy hats. Our team is looking something special. Um, alright. Wow, so yeah, let's let's long rest. Jeez. That was brutal. That was brutal. But we did it. We made it. You no. carry a gift Yankee relic. I will have an explanation. Or your head. Hello? Walk away now. I won't warn you again. Ladies, ladies, ladies. God, what are you why are you two arguing? Lazelle thinks I have something important to her people. She's deluded, clear lies. She carries an heirloom of my people. I must know why. Oh, you mean this? Tempers will be cool in the morning. Uh stop this. No sense in fighting in us fighting with each other. Incorrect. Judicious bloodletting settles feuds and roots out the weak, the deceitful. Do you hear this, tripe? Our lives are at stake, and she wants us to turn on each other. No others. Just you and me. Wow. Rest, both of you. Ladies, ladies, I know you both like me, but don't fight. We can all get, we can all be together. Yeah, it's fine. And it is how we settle this? No. Rest both of you. Tempers will I doubt this one's wits will be any sharper by then. I do not wish to spill blood here. Come daylight, we will find a place to end this. Fine. You can accept your wrong. All will be rid of you permanently. Either way, I win. <laughs> she will remember this. You had every chance to look the other way. But here we are. You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward. If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. In my... Oh, Philby. Have a fucking tradition. Your petty quarrels disturb my rest. Stop at once or I will make you stop. Um, Wow. Shit. If I tell her to stop, Blazel's gonna kill her. Also, I love that his look right now. He's this by the firelight, it's very Oh. I gotta use my I gotta use my 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 sexiness. Nat twenty, cause you know, I'm just naturally the most charismatic uh, half orc in the She's world. A liability. It's the artifact we need, not her. Galen Lee's will approve. And I'll show you. Cooperate, Lazel, for your own sake. Surrender. A disgusting notion. You had better warm to that notion very rapidly, or your journey ends here. We needn't be enemies. There's plenty of those to go around already. What would you have? That we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. From sundust through midday, middust, you can have me. And from middust through lordus, you can have me. Instead of each other, they wouldn't stand a chance. Ah, thank God. Oh, we're all sleeping now? We're not- we're awake now? Hi, guys. Y'all doing okay? Who is- who's snoring right now? Dude, Carlic, you're looking so cool. 
glad Shadowheart and Lazel settled things without letting any blood. I would have enjoyed the spectacle, but not losing either one of those lunatics. Gotta give me equal days to share. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, you're staying on the team. Okay, let's go. Let's just let's just leave. We gotta get out of here. This is just a mess. A mess. All right. So the dude's dead. Um, and can we? Yeah, we can't go through here. There's lava. Yeah, we just gotta go back up, right, and take the elevator control. No. Everybody together. Up, 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 up. Everybody together. We're all on this platform as it goes up. I never get to play Diablo 4, so I don't know, sadly. I've heard lots of things, good and bad from folks. Um, I wouldn't want to make an assumption I haven't played it, so I don't know, sadly. Okay. So, we haven't gone here, right? We haven't gone here. This is, uh, yeah, this is, we haven't gone this way. So let's do that. I should have probably did that before all this, but, you know. Oh, let's save. I haven't saved. Haven't yet, sadly. Probably won't. Um, I got a lot of old school Diablo style games to get through at some point. Lava is erupting. You better watch my step. The lava is erupting. Oh Jesus! Ready to burst. I didn't play Victor Rand. No, what's Victor Rand? I feel like I know this one. Okay. Hold on. What's over here? Oh, there's some stuff here. There's some stuff here that's worth. Okay. What a day. It's just you, my dude. Let's be quick. Yeah, you can get here. Right? No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Lava elemental. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on. Stealth it up. Neither seen nor heard. Neither seen and no heard. No, no. No, get over here. Dumbass. Magmatic disturbance. Can I make it over here? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Shit. Um. You're still stealthed? Good. Yes. No, 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 no does not require you having to go all the way down there, dude. Oh, he doesn't see me yet. I hope he doesn't see me for the others. Oops. Whew. It's another Diablo-style game, but the main character is voiced by the guy who voiced Geralt. There's a Motorhead DLC, and all the music on it is from Motorhead. There is a, a staunch desire to play some... to do some licensed music games on, like, Discord or something. Um... So what did he get? I did not see what he got. What did I get? Oh, I just unlocked it. I didn't actually open it. Shatter, talk to the sentient amulet. Key restoration. <laughs> oh! The amulet is heavy, but holds a subtle warmth, like it was left under the sun. Suddenly, the metal surges with heat. 
You feel great power and an overwhelming urge to laugh. <sighs> and now endure. Fight the urge. What's his wisdom? One? Oh, God. Only lucky for this one, Jesus. Already a fail. Shit. Try again. Come on. Okay, good, 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 good. The laugh urge fades. A quiet power spreads from hand to head and down to your feet. Thou hast done well. For what is a laugh if not one step toward madness? <laughs> Thou art the one. Hello. Me. Take me home, and thou shalt grow with blessings. Okay. Turn you to where? To my granddaughter, Shira Clarwin. Serves Ilmata, she does. She waits in Worms Crossing. Take me there. And thou shalt bathe in her golden gifts. Okay. Rooms cross you. I don't know where that is. What did you I'll take you to your granddaughter Rooms Crossing. I shall walk with thee. I shall grant you my power. Is that leaf armor? Uh no, it's uh drow stuff. Examine the amulet. Ooh. Oops. Etched on its face is an image of the dawning sun. Consider the inscribed image, what could it mean? Ten? Nailed it. You recognize the symbol. It belongs to those sworn to Laquanda, god of dawn and renewal. And renewal. Whatever madness the spirit suffers was inflicted by Lathander's enemies. Followers of Shah, and this madness may flow into you. Focus on the entity. What are its intentions? Let's use it. Let's get advantage. Beneath the rampant joy, you sense the monk's fear and sincerity. He doesn't wish to harm you. That doesn't mean he won't. Let's, look. Let's equip it. It shall be. High spirits. The Amulet Spirit lingers, making everything seem just a little more vibrant. You must succeed a wisdom saving throw when using the Amulet's power to be or become hysterical. I need to the notify. Tonight we don our adventurous cap as tonight we dine on adventure soup. Yes. Oh my god. How's it going, Sakana? Second, I'm gonna come to you. Second, I'm gonna second to me. How's it going, my friend? I hope you're doing well. Okay. Oh, he's still there. Doing his thing. They won't see me come. Okay. Where can I can I get there? Oh my god, I can't get there, can I? Shit, I'm gonna have to get there. And then to there. Oh my god. Right? Oh my god, I'm so fucked. Shit, get out of there. Get out of there. to time this right. Oh my gosh. I should have picked somebody who had better jumping skills than me. It's a never-ending flame. Like, it's just gonna keep going and going. I can get it from here. I can get that from here. Right? I'll take the one point of damage. Jump dude, you gotta get out of there. Oh 
coming for you. Gotta go. Oh, oh, we did it, Sakatomi. All right. Wow. All right. What did that amulet do? What does this amulet do? Shatter. Talk to the sentient amulet. I'm gonna give it to. Oh, no, what's it, what's it, what's our boy here do? What's this do? We have here. Okay. No, we're fine. We can keep it equipped. It's fine. Everybody together. Let's go. Got a creepy ass amulet. Everyone can make the jump, right, Will? Is that blood? No, never mind. Whew. How's it going, Sakonika? What have you been up to, my friend? I hope you've been doing well. I hope you've been getting some work done. It'd be feeling good. I hope you're feeling better too, by the way. I know you've been going through some major uh, back pain and stuff, right? I hope you're feeling better. I spot those things. Oh, this is tricky. Come on, everybody. and you can make this jump you can make that jump no everyone no 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 don't listen don't don't yeah go yeah but there we go there we go everybody we're fine see we're fine very well Whew, okay all right we've already gone through all that stuff okay so we can just we can just work back we, we think we explored everything up here so we can head back to the the Grim Forge. We're getting close to the end of the stream. Alright. Man. What a wild ass like stream tonight. It was a massive like we did so much stuff, dude. We did so much stuff. Alright, I'm about ready to uh declare war on all these dudes. Thank you, thank you Red Rice. I'm mean, not done yet, we're not done yet. Don't you worry. So that's where all those dudes are. I wanna I wanna take these guys down kind of one by one. Right? I think that we can do this. Where did they all go? Hello? <gasps> did they get them? Did they leave camp? Did I fail my mission? Oh shit. I don't see anybody. Did they clear the way? They cleared the way! Near is dead. Holy shit. Just as well. We can grab Nia's head and go. Uh we're gonna speak to the dead though before we do all that. I took a long rest, Fred Rays. I took two. The corpse regards you lifelessly. What were you doing here? Where did you come from? Did you come here with the dwarf? Two, yeah. Where'd you come from? Towers. I failed to save the gnomes and everything. Oh my god. What were you doing here? How did I get to Moonrise Star? Uh. Find path to temper. Orders. What about the stuff is so important? Okay. I didn't get to Moonrise Tower. Minthara in Goblin Camp. Safe passage. Moon Lantern. Okay. 
Um, talking about this general. Oh man. Okay. The decaying corpse lies before you. <laughs> Remove his head. Uh let's take an elixir of the Colossus for this one. Just in case. Okay. <laughs> we got an 18, okay. With my little dagger, I'm just gonna slowly saw off his head. The head breaks off cleanly from the drow's body. Oh, dude, that's nasty. A broken moon lantern. Oh, mind player specimen, disintegrating night walkers. Can't be unwebbed and take a learn snare. It can slip on. Can't slip on grease or ice and Missy Stab. What? You okay, phone? My phone is deciding to beep endlessly. Okay, dagger, 6 to 12. Sort of screams. Um, it's a rapier with finesse. Ooh, 6 to 8. Jesus. I made the wrong decision to try to object catches your eye. A lantern, it seems. A new light flickers within. The moon lantern. It must be. A thick layer of dust coats the bottom of the lantern. Ugh. It's broken. It won't save us from a dusky evening, never mind a curse. Okay, Mr. Chill. Inspect the lantern with more detail. What am I getting with this? Uh, one and one. One and one, so it doesn't matter. Um, examine the dust with the other one, yeah. Bone, you're gonna be okay? Oh, yes! This is pixie dust, used to illuminate a lamp, or left behind after a pixie's death. Let's do it. Oh, we didn't learn anything. That's okay. Nothing about the lantern strikes you as unusual. Okay. Thanks for the simple robe, dude. <clears throat> All right. So they went through here. This is where shit hit the fan. Wiki! No! Can I speak to you, Wiki? I can't speak to Wiki right now. Poor Wiki! Double up doors. Let's unlock them. Shit. Saving the poison cloud. Is a poison cloud? Shit. Keep a blade close. A crooked touch. Hey, Octopic. Where's the syringes? Where are you, syringes? Oh no. This led to nothing. This led to nothing. A fool's errand. Oh no. Curious. Hold on. Team? Here's Team Assemble. Carlac? What's cooking? Come here. Ooh. I've got a scroll of jumping. Like, what is it? Jump? Leap? Or Scroll. Let's see. Oh, I got a scroll speak of the dead. I can speak of the dead. Um, let's see invisibility, polymorph. What's the the far jump? I got a bunch of speak of the deads. Um, haste, enfeeblement, sickness, fear, black tentacles. 
enlarge. Let's see. Edward's black tentacles. Mm. Detect thoughts. Contra the muzzles. Blindness. Protecting evil. Dark vision. Misty step. Oh, misty step. I can do misty step. Let's do that. I don't know. Let's be filthy. Anyone can see, right? Not enough space. Ah, oh, shit. Best be on my way. I feel like if I get on this thing, it's gonna take me somewhere. Can I do that again? Not enough space. I can see it though. No, take me up there. I can see it. All right, well, shit, we just totally screwed the pooch there. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Um, hold on. Let's scroll this week with the dead, though. I gotta talk to, to this dude. On wiki. The corpse remains silent. Oh, wiki didn't want to talk. What's over here? Defaced statue of Shar. Looks like someone's gonna find the shower. Smear the absolute sin in the world. Oh, hello. We did all this. Yeah, that's leads down to the forge, that's why. Yeah, it's from here to the forge. Okay. So with my journal, when it says like, what the cursed monk, okay, open hand temple wounds crossing, I don't know what wounds crossing is. The sovereign spa will be pleased. Oh, sovereign spa, yeah, they wanted that, yeah. And then we gotta, we saved Balin, yes. They're fighting. Oh man, I don't. Oh, I feel bad. Let's see, where is it? Rescue the gnomes. After rescuing Barkus Root, we parted ways with them. Um, save the Grimforge gnomes. The gnomes and their captors are gone. We missed our chance to rescue them. Fuck. All right, let's go on our map and let's go report back to the Mike and the Colony. And then we will um, see how everything goes there, see what we got. And then that's going to be it for the night. Tomorrow, our stream schedule for this week is going to be its jam freaking packed. Holy smokes. So, Monday night, 9 p.m., we're doing what? Uh, more Elder Scrolls Redguard, right? Elder Scrolls Adventures Redguard. Who needs Starfield? You got the best Elder Scrolls game right here at your fingertips. Redguard. Been a blast. Been loving it to death. Um... Wednesday is more, at 9 p.m., more Elder Scrolls Redguard. Hopefully we'll get it finished by then. I hope so. And then Thursday morning, our day stream. Our day stream is going to be watching old E3 press conferences and building this bad boy. We hit the the 750 follower count, and I said when I did so, I would do a, a build and full playthrough of that game. So we will build it on the day stream and at night um, we will stream the game and complete it. Uh, that's the Nintendo Labo vehicle kit. Um, which I'm super stoked to play. Oh my gosh. Can I talk to the dead of the Mykonid? Oh my god. Why would I want to do that? I don't want to talk to the dead Mykonid. Okay. Hey, Thula, I'm sorry about not saving your boys. Peacebringer, be at home. I look like a PS2 game. I was the cage called a glut. It was scheming to slaughter your circle. This is true. One with spores. Your throat tightens and relaxes. The air is serene 
your mind untroubled. The songs we sing now carry your spirit. I first named you Peace Bringer. I now name you Kin Spirit. Oh, thank you. And now? Peace Bringer. No, no, Kin Spirit. Here's his head. The drow sought to shatter our circle. Now his flesh may feed its growth. In dealing death, you have brought this circle life. And thus we name you Life. Chanter. Don't forget it this time, okay? Life Chanter. Mark it at rave! Unst, 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 unst. Raise the roof, raise the roof. Get those spores in your lungs, babe. Unst, 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 unst. So show your song. Wherever you go, only listen, and you may hear it. Nice! Invoice amulet. Voice of the circle. Oh, cool! Alright, I'll accept it. So I wonder what that does. Where is it? There it is. No, that's the blast pendant. What's this do? Lightning blast? Ooh, my. I have so many cool things that I just don't have equipped. Like, it's a ring. I could wear this ring, right? I could wear it anytime I want. Am I gonna? Nope. <laughs> All these magical things. Not gonna do it. I'm just hoarding everything. Um, let's see. Flip. There it is. Examine. Voice of the circle. Grand and ally plus two bonus on persuasion checks. Huh? I mean, let's just put that on me. And we got enough. We're good with we're good with talking to the dead right now. Some music with that. I know, right? They're still dancing. Oh, they are. Yes. Fuck yes. Enjoy the spider's lair. Not the power. Not the power. Excuse me. All right. Fine. Don't play the song. Don't play the fancy song. All together now, and sway, and sway, and sway, and sway, and kick, and sway, and sway, and sway. Hey, Thula. I'm coming along. Let's give her the bad news. Yeah. They killed the drugger that were hunting you. I'm almost sorry to hear it. I hope to have the pleasure myself. There's plenty more guarding my people, but I'd say you've made a fine start. Yeah. There's one from Michael Jackson, the legend himself. What do I need to do? Like I said, save my kin. And if you How long before you fit to move? Longer than I'd like. But a slow recovery, still a recovery. You may be here for a long time. Sorry. I gotta I gotta go. Goodbye. I'm just gonna go here. I gotta go talk to this lady. And be like, oh yeah, the thing your husband wanted to get. I blew it up. I'm sorry. Look at that. Got my useless old man back. I suppose that's your doing. His hands are empty as a whole. We'll have to send him back out soon enough. Uh, let's see. Seems like there's no love lost between the two of you. Some miracle survived. You should take him home. Must be done here for a reason. Collecting noble stock. 
Valuable mushroom. We have a shop in Boulder's Gate. The locals go mad for it. Literally, it causes madness. Nearly nothing it can't cure. Blindness, poison, hair loss. Green skin. Goodbye. We're going to do some additional 1d4 damage with throw attacks and weapon attacks made. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I know what you're going to wear, a little, uh, Carlac. What did you got here? When you dash, yeah. Sorry. Nope. You do. Oh, whoops. Those are your boots. Put those boots on. Hold on. Yeah. Here. Take these. Put these on. Yes! How you doing? Backlin. My friend. Bibberbank. Curious. Beautiful. But dangerous. No shit, man. Time, more careful next time. For certain. Thank you. For your help. Glad you found I found you when I did. Uh how do you get trapped? You must be a rare breed of fool to go wandering amongst Bibberbang. How do you get trapped? Uh, I think I, uh, uh, anyway, uh, what do you say? You must be keen on mushrooms if you're willing to break the underdark for them. Um, are you feeling right? Seems like you get confused easily. My, um, my words get away from me. You'll have to ask Dereth. She knows the ins and outs. So we'll stop at the Powerful. Did it once it for a brew. He's very good, my did it. Very good at a brew. How do you end up trapped like that? Noble stock. Yes. Did it needs noble stock. Mushroom. Good stuff. A and a ledge. Yes. I was on a ledge. Crumbled to bits. And I tumbled down. Can I mushrooms? Stop. The shop needs all we find. Bone cloaks. Baldur's Gate. Anything from... Anything sourced here. Very high rate of profit. Alright. What's up with your husband and his weird talking? Is he okay? There you go, lady. Yeah. We'll be clearing out soon enough. You come across a noble stock mushroom about, you give it here. Gods know I've earned it. Time, show me your wares. What can I get from you? Anything good? Scrolls of Revify, please, because I totally didn't get any. I used them all. Nothing. Hey, look, thorns now are good. All right. Let's save our game. Perfect. Wow, that was wild. Um, let's see who's on. Let's go take a look and see who is on the Twitches right now. On the Bibber Bang. Yeah, so um, thank you guys for hanging out, man. Um, Y'all made my day. Let's see who's online. Let's see who we can raid. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Got a couple folks here. Um... Let's go say hi to Hungry. I was just talking to them the other day. They're playing the original StarCraft. Never played an RTS before. Let's go raid them and get them all the support in the world. No backseating, please. Also, I will state. Um, we were just talking about this. Yeah, no backseating for her. She's learning all these things from the ins and outs, from the like, just from trying to figure this stuff out. Let's go raid them. Uh, again, I'll be back tomorrow night, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, with uh, Elder Scrolls Adventures Redguard. I hope to see you all there. Uh, get some sleep, Star Fox. Have a wonderful night, everybody. And as always, to humor. Farewell! I don't have an exit. Thank you. We'll get a baby tomorrow. I don't know.